What is up, everybody? Hopefully, everyone is doing nice and well tonight. And we got some fun breaks that we are going to start off with, obviously. Uh, just going to get all the payments done here. And clear cut looks like it's filled. I believe diamond is filled. Yeah, clear cut filled, diamond filled, ice is filled. So we are going to have a fun night of breaks. And NT... Is down to 19, folks. I cannot wait. Platinum is down to four. The other platinum is down to 22 of the cheaper break. And we've got... As the game using artifacts slowly but surely. Getting down there. But how is everyone doing tonight? How is everybody doing? Good evening, good evening, good evening. Okay, so I'm going to be right back, folks. I'm going to go take the, uh, the recycling out and the garbage out. Get all that done as soon as I can. So I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? Blitzy, long time no talk, sir. When are you going to come into the store, Blitz? Say hi for once, you know. 
Solved. Did you call me today? If you did, a number came up that was unlisted. And to be honest, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's spam. Like, no word of a lie, but I probably get about five to seven of those spams a day. So I'm pretty reluctant to pick up my phone number because if it's a phone number that pops up and the name doesn't show, that means I probably don't know who you are. Generally. Oh. <laughs> Uh, P123, I was going to do that tonight after blog, if that's cool with you. I, uh, we got a few more in from some customers that, uh, we bought some lots from, but, uh, I'll definitely gonna get back to you on that tonight. Uh, Conrad, Dan deals with all that stuff, so I would ask him. All right. And what I'm hoping for tonight, folks, what I'm hoping for, bum, 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 I hope, I hope, I hope we get this done. What's the hype, Tyler? All you need to know is that legitimately there could be a $100,000 Canadian card in there, which is the Zion um, card. Now, we did have uh, one of our guys, which is actually really awesome. He, in Toronto, he bought, uh, I think he bought a case. And we're selling some of the stuff from him. He got a jaw. Now, I think that jaw Morant sells for like, 10 or 15 grand, so it's still pretty sweet. But we only got one box in from our distributor, which uh, really sucks, but I'm at least fortunate that I got one box from our distributor. <laughs> he definitely didn't have to do that, so. <clears throat> Basketball, yes, sir. It's one of those things, A, it's really cool to be a part of. I, honestly, yes, I know the odds of getting this ion are not the craziest. It's just when could you ever honestly join a break that could give you a legitimate $100,000 card? And not only that, to spice it up a bit more, there's already a five or $600,000 US offer to whoever pulls the Zion Logoman 101. So, in all honesty, it's just one of those things that I think for the pure holy crap it's possible type of thing, I feel like it could be fun and worth uh, a shot at it. Plus, as I said, we only have one. If I have to buy more, just so you guys know, I'm buying it from either Panini directly or of the other sources in the U.S. And, you know, you're paying, like, the 5000 or whatever it is, U.S. or 4500 U.S., plus duties, plus taxes, plus shipping. So these are not uh, something that – like even the one guy, we had a couple of our bigger customers, <clears throat> point blank ass, was like, oh, can you bring me in some? I'm like, it's literally the exact same price if you buy it yourself. And plus it just saves time and, you know, effort. So the one, one of our guys who's a big basketball collector – uh, bought a case on um, directly from Panini. And to give you an idea, I think he said he just paid under $24,000 for the case. Canadian, obviously Canadian. <clears throat> so, 
So it's one of those ones, as I said, uh, our distributor was very nice. He, he only had, I think like, I think he said he only got about four in Canada and he gave us one box, which I'm very thrilled for. Well, it's not gave us like we had to buy it, but I'm very fortunate that we're one of the ones that he decided to do that for. So we're going to do some fun with it and, uh, crush it. As for the McDavid blitz, I looked at it. It's not a, it's not bad on the uh, pricing, actually. I do actually think it's going to go higher than that. So. Yeah, I, I that's what I kind of presume as well. I think it's not a bad investment for long term. Uh, Dean, on a technicality, yes, but not really. Like, there's not been a product, per se, that's widely opened. But there's been specialty sets that have been, like, oh, like all-time grades of $20,000 for hockey. But it's hockey and other sports. Beautiful. Do I think hockey is going to go crazy like basketball? No. Main reason why is hockey is more North American focused, whereas the China, Europe market, Australia market for basketball is just second. Like, it's insane. Like, think about this. A guy who has played 17 games or whatever it is, 13 games, his card legitimately sells for 60 to 75,000 US, and there's 99 of them. And there's already a half million dollar offer on the logo men. You know how nuts that is. So again, we, we figured, hey, we have one coming in. Why not try something cool with it? So I would like to get it done. Now. We're down to 17 now, folks. If a few more of you guys want to be part of it, again, you know, if, if there is a demand, for example, and we can maybe bring one in from the U.S., for example, and do a chance of it down the road, I would entertain that because I'd have to see what I can price it out to be, but it'd be pretty cool, I, I, I think. I could probably do a 250 chance on that at under 40 bucks, I think. Ten cards, Tyler. From what I've seen, generally there's, let's see, a base card, a plate, a whole bunch of jerseys, autos, and then like two to three really low-numbered or kind of cool cards. Nothing's obviously guaranteed, I don't think. But oh, I think every single pack has a plate, a printing plate 101. So that's all kind of cool. All right, I'll be right back. Then I'm going to start the random for the first break. All right. You know what? Honestly, I don't – I feel like hockey right now is in a bad position. Did you – not only the Matthews thing, did you hear about the uh, lightning, Conrad? Did you hear what happened with that? Yeah. Be going. That's true. Like at the end of the day, I, I think if I read it correctly, and obviously someone can correct me if I'm wrong. I believe the Lightning had three players and two staff members test positive, and they shut down um, their training essentially right now. So it's, uh, you know what? I was gonna say I feel like. I feel like we're going to be, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a very long road for them to make this happen in all honesty. And I feel like it's going to be very tough.
said, I love hockey as much as everyone else does, but I feel like they're just going to be trying to jump through so many hurdles. And then what happens in the playoffs, right? Like, what happens if literally game one of the Stanley Cup finals, one of the guy tests positive on the team? Do they delay the next game? Do they test? Like, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's going to be so crazy. I applaud them for trying. But I, I just think, unfortunately, other than something like UFC, I think every other sport is going to be pretty much near impossible to properly run. Because UFC, you can pull a fighter very quickly, as they've done before. And the, the event can still go on. They can kind of seclude their entire fight team. You can't really do that with hockey or basketball or baseball or football. So... All right, folks, here we go. Clear cut the randoms. Good luck. Here we go. That's a photo. Why would it save a photo? I want a video. Come on. There we go. That was funny. I took a photo. Here we go, 11,671, the multi-hour team randoms, three times, one, two, three, copy, paste, one, two, three, copy, paste, Whitetail's got Nashville in the Leafs, Vang's got Carolina, Mordecai, Ottawa, Whitetail's got Islanders, Game Warren, Pittsburgh, Whitetail, Minnesota, P123, Columbus, Mark Jenny's got Washington, Jay's got New Jersey, Fish has Montreal, Stan, Philly, Whitetail, Chicago, Aaron's got Colorado, Balk's got Detroit, Bulls got Calgary, Eagles, San Jose, Julie's got Ed Money, Jesse G's got Boston, Nicholas has Rangers, Mark Jenny, St. Louis, RJ's got Vancouver, Sean's got Arizona, Game Warren, Buffalo, Beatles, Vegas, RJ, Dallas, Max got LA, Whitetail, Winnipeg, P123, Anaheim, Jesse G, Tampa, Dasher's got Flow Rider. All right, so teams are posted in the thread. But just out of curiosity's sake, how many of you, if down the road, for example, and presuming we can also get some more, if we could ever do a chancer, do you guys think it's ever worth trying that on this kind of box? Because, uh, again, to bring it in, no BS, and I can tell you from one of my guys in, uh, in Toronto who did bring in a case, like you're talking at least $6,000 a box cost. Like, minimum. And that's if there's no crazy duties or anything like that. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that, Golden. I just I just don't know. The problem is it would also be hard to do any kickers, right? Like, and I don't like doing, like, I know this is a special circumstance in my opinion. Because, again... When have I been able to get a box that is sells for six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand dollars? The reason I'd also do this is I would love someone to have that investment down the road. Is because you know in four, five, six years, this will be a ten thousand dollar box plus. That's what I love. So I'm still debating that. To be honest. But by the way, we're down to the final 13 left. So let's get this filled. As I said, we can bust one of these bad boys tonight. We can bust it. See how it goes. I'll be honest. I'll probably have to rely on someone to know. There's two names or three names that I know that are big and the rest... I will have to kind of 
rely on someone to let me know if I did good or not. <laughs> but I'm hoping we can get that done. We are right there. Yeah, I know. Well, I haven't been out only for two days. I put it up last night, didn't I, or yesterday? I think I put it up four yesterday, did I not? It's not too bad. That's realistic. That's not too bad. As I said, I feel like nowadays, which is not a bad thing, but I feel like we're pretty spoiled here as, uh, as breakers. Yesterday morning, yeah. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, no, Tyler, ending in zero. So if you get number 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, any of those. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 11,671. We have the seven box clear cut. That is a nice start. A future watch retro autograph for the Vegas Golden Knights, Alex Tuck. Alex Tuck. Well, I like that start. I like that start. Jeez. I love the start. Numbered 9 of 10. High gloss for the Capitals. Evgeny Kuznetsov. Nine of ten. Evgeny Kuznetsov. Jeez. That's what I love about this. Sometimes the breaks are phenomenal. Other times, sometimes not. But... We've got a base veteran auto, Cam Atkinson, Columbus Blue Jackets. Let's go back to the first two style. Not bad. Embedded endorsements to 99, Maxime Comtois. Maxime Comtois. For the Anaheim Ducks. Hey, to go with your regular, your high gloss version, Evgeny Kuznetsov. I'm kind of semi hoping now we get the exclusive version. I'm not going to lie. For the Oilers. Ethan Bear. Not a bad rookie auto to get. Ethan Bear. Bear witness. And hopefully last but not least. Oh, definitely not least. That's probably the case hit. I would say so. We've got a rookie auto for the Vancouver Canucks, Elias 
Pedersen. Pedersen, rookie auto. Damn. Wow. That was a uh, solid seven. <laughs> Holy jeez. Wow. That was awesome. The Alex Tuck, the Kuznetsov, the Embedded, and the... Jeez. All right. Well, that's a good start to the night. I like that. Healthy start to the evening. All right, let's see what is next. I think Diamond was the next build, I believe, so we'll do that one. Perfect. Nice, 277. Yeah, I believe that PD would be the case in. I actually, I. To be honest, I think the Tuck or the Kuznetsov would be the secondary or third. So we might have just literally obliterated that case. All right, and again, folks, let's get the ball rolling. We are now down to 11 in the NT. I would love to get that going. Love to. So I'm going to start 11 6 I think it's this one. Yep, I think so. Good luck. Here we go, starting off CNC break, 11644 We have the diamond. Yep, it is. Um, Justin, I didn't read it like Dan did and uh, Eric did in the back. It was interesting. I don't know if it's worth the dollars per se for people to get in, but we've got a two ninety nine Mark Shifley. Mark Shifley for the Jets. I swear we always have one person that always wants to start our show and give us a negative. Dedication, I tell you. We've got a triple diamond retro base to ninety nine Solani. So Lonnie for the Anaheim Ducks. There's always one. It's funny. That, oh my God, I'm killing this day. Number five of five. Retro Auto. Marty Brodeur. Marty Brodeur. Five of five. Five. Damn. I am like eight boxes into tonight, and I am murdering it. We've got numbered. How is this in the same pack? Number to 15, Team Logo Jumbos for the Rangers. Harry Howell. Couldn't have hit one of five. Harry Howell out of 15. What a pack. Number to 25, this makes it even better. Number 10 of 25, Brandon Gallagher. 10 of 25, Diamond Mine Relics Patch. Or Diamond the Rough, sorry. And might as well kill this pack totally. Hardware Heroes for the Oilers, Bill Ranford. Bill Ranford. Holy jeez. 
That was like on the other than the exquisite. That pack was stupid stacked. Like literally, even the base card and the uh, black diamond was phenomenal. We've got for the Montreal Canadiens a two ninety nine Ryan Paling. Ryan Paling. We've got for the Panthers Evgeny Dadanov. <laughs> Apparently, Dean. For the LA Kings, we've got a Bernie Nichols sparkling scripts. Bernie Nichols. For the Devils, Team Logo Jumbos, Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes. For the Maple Leafs, Silver on Black Rookie Signatures, Andreas Johnson. Andreas Johnson. And we've got a run for the cup, number to 99 for the Maple Leafs, Mitch Marner. Mitchy Marner. They used the same design for the 16-17, uh, didn't they? Or actually the last few years. We've got for the Devils, Gusev rookie to two ninety nine. Gusev exquisite rookie. We've got for the Hawks a two forty nine, Jonathan Taze. <laughs> no, I didn't. For the Sens. Number to 99, Diamond Rookie Relics of Vitaly Abramov. Vitaly Abramov. Diamond for the Auto Senators. For the Anaheim Ducks of 349, Max Jones. Do they really? For the New Jersey Devils, Gusev rookie. Gems. I guess they could just post a normal picture of the Canadians, all right? <laughs> and we've got a Hall of Fame rings of Mark Messier for the Oilers. Bad joke. <laughs> I meant the Montreal Canadiens be golden. You should be on my side on that one. Woohoo! Number two ninety nine. Exquisite rookie patch. Jack Hughes. 99, Jack Hughes. Bam. Photo of that. Uh, yeah, Black Future Watch would consist of an Easter egg. Yes. For the Maple Leafs, the 249, Dougie Gilmore. For the Winnipeg Jets, the 25 autograph, Mark Shifley. Mark Shifley. <laughs> Don't want me to look dirty. We've got for the Canucks Team Logo Jumbos Quinn Hughes. Two Hugheses in one box. Wow. 349 Diamond Debut Relic of Makar. Makar. And we've got number 299, Jack Hughes, Spectrum Rookie Gems.
Damn. Black Diamond actually has a very solid product this year. For the Ottawa Senators, 299 exquisite rookie patch, Vitaly Abramov. Abramov. For the Winnipeg Jets, 249, Blake Wheeler. Jeez, how is this in the same case? We've got number to 25. Retro Auto Sydney Crosby. Out of twenty five, Sydney Crosby. I don't understand that. We've got a lung fist for the Rangers. Team logos. Diamond in the rough of Pekka Rene. For the Nashville Predators. And for the Rangers, Adam Fox. There she goes. That's got to be one of the stronger cases I've seen in a long time. To get a Broder autograph out of five, a Crosby auto out of 25, and a Jack Hughes exquisite rookie, all in a case. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to post uh, the photos here. Damn. That was awesome. I was going to say, like, the five of five is a pretty, pretty badass card by itself. To get a Crosby, like I'm curious what they considered the case hit there. Give me one second, guys. All right. Oh, I had a bunch of emails to clear. Holy jeez. So give me one second, folks. I said it's gotta get a whole bunch of emails. My gosh. 
Not a bad, not a bad thing to have, right? All right. Again, I always apologize, folks, for a bit of a delay. But, uh, you know, when I do a break, sometimes it takes, uh, we had, I had 47 emails from spots and stuff that I got to mark and organize and all that fun stuff. So I got to make sure all of them are good to go. Obviously, see which payments are coming in. All right, so we should be caught up. Platinum sold out now, so sweet. All right, so ice will be the next one. But again, folks, we are down to nine, it looks like, left in the NT. And, of course, if anyone's in the NT break, have any questions of how it's going to work, please make sure you guys ask before, <laughs> before we do it rather than after. I just want to make sure everyone's on the same pace. I will give you a quick rundown right now. I will random everyone's name. Everyone gets a spot number, number 1 to 99. Plus, whoever gets spot 100 will get the redemption spot. So, essentially, you are assigned a number. If a serial number on the left side is open, you get that card. So, if it's number 57 of 99... Whoever gets randomed into that 57 spot would get that card. All cards are 99 or less, yes. So that's why we're, we are able to do it that way. All right, ice is next, folks. 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 All right. The hunter spot would get the redemptions, presuming there's any redemption. As that we normally follow what a lot of the US people do. That's how they uh, that's how they break those ones down. So All right. And just so you guys know, I posted an SBA modified and an ice aider uh, as well. So just so you guys want to do it. Nine left in NT. We are right there, ladies and gentlemen. So good luck. Uh, 11,661. I think it's this one. Yeah. Yeah, that was platinum. So I hope so. Here we go, 11,661. We have the ice case. What do I think of the Austin sit? 
What do you mean the Austin sit right now? I need more tape room on the table. We start off with an orange for the Nashville Predators of Forsberg. Rookie Relic Jumbo Jersey of Texier. Oh, situation. I think it's for the Blue Jackets. I think it's unfortunate, but it's going to happen to players, right? He's here for the Devils Green. And we got another Rookie Relic Jumbo, the Bear Beta 199 for the Flyers. Well, Sit is also the full form of Sit. <laughs> we've got a Taylor Hall green for the Coyotes. And we've got a 399 Nico Sturm for the Wild. Like, at the end of the day, I, I feel bad because he's obviously a player that got singled out, per se. But, like, three Tampa Bay players today got tested. Malkin for the Penguins green. $9.99 for the Nashville Predators of Yakov Trenin. Did they say 11 now total? Kodkin Yemi for the Habs Green. And we've got a $4.99 rookie, Elvis Mers Lickens. Blue Jackets. Forgive him. <laughs> but that's the thing is like, I think, what, one or two Boston players had it. Three players now in Tampa have it. Several others. It's going to happen. At the end of the day, I don't think it's going to be that big of a surprise. You're testing how many people. I really hate these boxes. I get confused of how I want to open these boxes. <laughs> 11, yeah. Like, considering, what is that? This is 25 players a team, hypothetically, right? That's not that many, considering. That's... 600 tests, roughly. 11 out of 600. It's actually pretty good. Orange of Carey Price for the Habs. And a nice Premier's jersey of Myers for the Flyers. Ice jersey. Yeah, Colorado and Ottawa as well. We've got an Eric Stahl for the Minnesota Wild. And a Sub-Zero for the Hawks. Dominic Kubalik. We've got a Goudreau for the Calgary Flames. And for the Flyers to 199 exquisite rookie auto, Philip Myers. Like I will tell you guys, over the next few weeks, more and more players are going to test. So, sadly, I feel like that might be the tipping point of them actually just not having the playoffs. Bergeron Green for the Bruins. And a $12.99 for the Capitals of Beck Malenstein. Logan Couture Emerald for the Sharks. $4.99 Connor Timmins for the Avalanche. Sub-Zero of Adam Fox for the Rangers. So I, I really hope it doesn't hinder the NHL, but I have a feeling it will. Honestly. We've got an orange of Kachuk for the Calgary Flames. Ice Premier's jersey of Noah Dobson for the Islanders. Noah. Green of Truba for the Rangers. And a Emil Bep Bemstrom for the Blue Jackets, sub-zero. We've got a Taze for the Hawks. That's a good one. We've got a 9-10 Rookie Auto Exquisite Tribute for the Chicago Blackhawks. Kirby Doc. Kirby Doc 99 Exquisite.
Bam. Matthews for the Maple Leafs green. And a $12.99 Kevin Stenland for the Blue Jackets. We've got a Giroux for the Flyers green. $4.99 Max Jones for the Ducks. The Phillies had five. Wow. I didn't know that. Well, what I'm worried about is just say the vaccine doesn't actually get done until, like, mid-next year. Do you think they're just going to stop or are they just going to kind of, like, you know, you know, if you have it, you're just sitting down. That's, that's what it is. We've got a diamond of Alex Petrangelo for the Blues. And for the Blues, Jordan Bennington, base jersey. It's going to be interesting how they, uh, all the sports progress. We've got a Brady Kachuk for the Ottawa Senators. Emerald, Pierre Engvall for the Maple Leafs rookie to $9.99. And a nice Premier's jersey, Quinn Hughes. Do they uh, say why the Blue Jays shut down? Crosby for the Penguins, Emerald. And a glacial grass for the Hawks, Alex DeBrincat. Presuming driftwood, there's no pendings. Which, as I said, generally when a whole bunch of spots get going, there's always one or two pendings. <laughs> but yeah, that's close. Emerald of McKinnon for the Avalanche. We got a 999 of Cole Sherwood for the Blue Jackets. Oh, did they? Blake Wheeler, Emerald for the Jets. And we got a $4.99 Nikolai for Corcoran for the LA Kings. Man, a lot of players surprised at the athletes that like the stay at home type thing. How many of them are still testing, though? Or sorry, testing positive. Uh, Dean, it doesn't mean it's 100% on our end. Someone can select uh, PayPal and then. A glitch. It's a weird thing on our system. If they go to the PayPal screen but then exit, it marks it as done, but it's not. We've got a orange for the Blues of Bennington and a rookie relic jumbos of Oliver Wallstrom. But I'll double check. Oliver Wallstrom. Behind a helmet. We got a Huberto for the Panthers, Emerald. And a sub-zero rookie of Micaiah for the Leafs. They did not buy an island, though. They rented it out, but they did not buy one. Mitch Marner, Emerald for the Leafs. And we've got a 199 exquisite rookie auto for the Devils, Nikita Gusev. Gusev to 199. We've got a green of Pedersen for the Canucks. We've got an Adam Werner for the Avalanche. Green of Getzlaff for the Ducks. $4.99 Joel Person for the Oilers. I swear, Shesterkin does not exist in this. Correct. Assuming all payments. As I said. Generally, but a whole bunch of spots fly like this because it's just the way the system works sometimes, guys. I apologize. <laughs> but it is. It won't be many, if any. So we've got an orange of Darlene for the Sabres. Ice Premier's jersey. Carson Coolman for the Boston Bruins. We've got a Dre Seidel for the Oilers Green. Paling Retro Rookie to 149 for the Habs. And a ringside signings for the Golden Knights, Max Patrady. Max Patrady. Okay, I don't know, Blue Shirts, why that blows your mind, to be honest. Barzal for the Islanders Green. $3.99 Ice Premiers for the Florida Panthers. Brady Keeper. 
We've got a Carter Hart Emerald for the Flyers. $9.99 for the Oilers of Joaquin Nygaard. Stamp goes ice, uh, sorry, green for the Tempe Lightning. And a $4.99 Loyster Reinen for the Kings. The main reason why that doesn't blow my mind, again, any Mems and Autos, folks, it, it takes, uh, they build, they pre build products basically seven months to a year out. So think about if you're building ice, you have a checklist done pretty much seven months ago. Orange of Seth Jones for the Jackets. Ice Premier's jersey, David Gustafson for the Jets. We've got a Besser for the Vancouver Canucks. Cody Glass to $3.99 for the Vegas Golden Knights Exquisite. Okay, Pat, come on. Barkov Emerald for the Panthers. And we've got a $2.99 Dylan Gambrell. Dylan Gambrell for the Sharks. Justin, what are you talking about? We've got a Winnipeg Jets Emerald of Shifley and a Gate in Haas to $9.99 for the Edmonton Oilers. Emerald of Kopitar for the Kings. $4.99 of Gustafson for the Jets. Sub Zero of Bluger for the Pittsburgh Penguins. It blows my mind if you're talking about that, that people think sometimes like making a product is done within like two, three months. Products are generally getting built a year, a year almost a year out. You got to get checklists done very early. So when a new player or a player that comes out, is doing well, it's very, very tough to get anything of them. Dallas Stars Orange of Sagan. And a nice Premier's jersey of Max Jones for the Anaheim Ducks. Petrangelo for the Blues, Emerald. And an exquisite of Farabee for the Flyers. Flyers, still the most consistent team in the entire product. Or also an orange, a Patrick Kane green for the uh, Hawks, and a three ninety nine Jimmy Schold. Jimmy Schold for the Vegas Golden Knights. The later products, there's a better chance for sure. Castle for the Coyotes, Emerald, and a Scott Sabrin for the Ottawa Senators to twelve ninety nine. Emerald of Aho and a four ninety nine. Alexi Sorella for the Panthers. There she goes. Well, that Kirby Doc was filthy. Tribute rookie auto to 99. All right, let me see the orders, folks. What team did you have, Sean? All right, so it looks like there is two people that I had to cancel. One guy had two spots. The other one had only one. But that is it. So it would only be those spots, folks. So we can start that pretty much immediately. Once uh, obviously done. All right, so if anyone wants to get that finished, I can do that one quickly, but that should not take no more than, like, two minutes or maybe five minutes. But So if you guys want to get that done, and, again, if any one of you folks have a question on it, can you please make sure to ask now? All 
I just don't want anyone being confused. There should be 10 cards in there from what I've seen. Every card is serial numbered except for the redemptions, obviously. Redemptions will go to spot 100. So whoever lands spot 100 will get redemptions. When you get your uh, number, that is the number that you will have on the serial number. So if you, in the random, if I random and you get number 42, you are number 42 on all the spots. So it is in the process of getting filled, folks. So we will do that one first. I don't know what's going on with my computer. My uh, my mouse is very jolty, and I don't know if my computer is just reacting really slow right now. I don't think that's cool. Yeah, it's definitely. What's going on, mouse? Is it you? All right, so I'll get the randoms going for that. I also semi realized I got to type them all out, don't I? <laughs> Actually, no, I don't. I have chancers. That'll be easier. I'll take the numbers there. Hell yeah. <laughs> See, I don't want to type 1 to 100 right now. As I, when I do the randoms, whatever number you guys will get, that's the number you guys are assigned. So, So what I'm going to do, folks, is in the random, I'm trying to see if I said right now, yeah, so I'm going to random the numbers, I'm going to random the, uh, so just so you guys know, when I random the numbers, it'll be the second number, I'm trying to think if I don't random, is that easier? If I just do 1 to 100 and then random the names only, is that easier for you guys? Is that fine with you guys? Before I officially get going on this, yes, no, maybe so. Kind of need input. So instead of randoming the numbers, which will give you a whole bunch of weird numbers, like in different order, I was going to just copy the 1 to 100. Then I was going to take all the names random those three times and put them beside the numbers. Is that fair for everyone? Like everyone understand that? That's cool. Okay, good. All right, so Again, I will post it. I'll give you guys about a minute in between when I do the break. Um, so you guys can kind of, uh, I wouldn't say do any trades, obviously, but you guys can at least know your number. To be 100% clear, to be 100% clear, the redemption spot, because I know we had this on SBA sometimes, the redemption spot, any redemption will go to that spot. A uh, person who's number one will be, yeah, whoever lands on top is number one. So, again, it doesn't matter if the redemption's a one of one. It doesn't matter if it's out of 50. 
it goes to the redemption spot. So I don't want anyone being confused with that and going, why wasn't that randomed? Or, you know, it's a one on one, so it should go. It gets to the go to the redemption spot. All right, good luck, everyone. 11,643. Here we go. Here we go. 11,643. Everything three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. All right, so this is irrelevant because that's the spot that they purchased. Those are the numbers, guys. I will post them all in the thread for you guys to have a go at it. So there you go. So you guys will have about a minute to get going. Well, anyone who says a hobby is a waste of money, for example, they also don't understand the hobby. I guarantee you that end. That's probably what it is. One on one redemption, a drawing, which I saw on eBay, which is actually kind of funny, a drawing of a card. If it's on a redemption, it goes to the redemption spot. Literally, if it has writing on the card and it says redemption, it's a redemption. The redemption spot actually is pretty freaking huge. I've seen some Zions that are redemptions. Um, some of the big names are redemptions. That's a big potential spot. So again, I posted all the spots. So number one, for example, stock exchanges. Two and three, D. Garwood. Mordecai's four, Snow five, so on and so forth. So it's the first serial number on the left side. Ladies and gentlemen, That that is how we're going to do it. But are you guys ready? We're going to at least try it out. All right. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> and if someone wants to help me on the names, it would be great, potentially. Here we go. NT 1920 Basketball. And, of course, if anyone wants the box, by the way, I'm okay with that as long as you want to pay for some shipping. Woohoo! Ooh, I'm kind of nervous. All right, so I'm trying to think how I saw other people do this. All right. Uh, I'll put it right back here if that's cool with you guys. Obviously, I'll keep it here so you guys don't see too, too much. We've got number 26 of 99, Goran Dragic. And again, I might butcher some names, guys, so I really do apologize. 26. We've got for the number one spot, because it is a one-of-one one printing play. That's kind of cool. I know this guy. Patrick Ewing. One of one. Printing plate. Number 12 of 49, Century Materials of Harrison Barnes. Means you got the redemption spot, Mike. Harrison Barnes. Numbered. 10 of 10, Century Material Prime, Pascal Siakam. Woo, Siakam, go Raptors. <laughs> 10 of 10.
Pascal Siakam. We've got number, that's awesome again, number 10 of 99. Great autograph of Chauncey Billups. <laughs> Dylan, I'm in the same way. Chauncey Billups. Uh, and by the way, I think we had like five emails on the NT box already. I might literally just do like a random to one of the people who asked for it because we're getting a lot of people asking. Numbered 12 of 15. Colossal Patch Auto Harrison Barnes. This is a nice piece. Harrison Barnes. We've got, my God, the odds of this happening to me mind blow me. Number 10 of 10, penmanship auto of Kares Levert. 10 of 10. Again, I, if anyone wants to let me know if any of these cards are a big card, I'm not too, too sure yet, but we've got number 90 of 99, Apprentice Inc. Rookie, P.J. Washington. 90 of 99, Apprentice Inc., P.J. Washington Jr., sorry. That's not bad. Okay, that's good. I like the not bad. We've got numbered 77 of 99. Jersey. That guy's hair is awesome. Kobe White. 77 of 99. Kobe White. I know this name is a decent one for sure. The Kobe White. Yeah, I'll say, I know he's a decent name. And we've got a triple jersey. I think it's a wrong Pelican. Number two of 99, Jackson Hayes. Two of 99, Jackson Hayes. There we go. So, I'm guessing average box. Kobe White, I'm guessing, is probably the bigger card. Maybe the PJ. So-so. From what I've seen, it looks like it's pretty much... I uh, should be in the break. I can give you the link to that in one second, sir. Or if anyone is there closer to, I can do it. Oh, be golden sent you the link. Look on the bottom, sir. Medbox. Now, Rich, so one thing I did notice, a lot of people, I, I watched a lot of breaks, is a lot of people were saying the value on some of the cases are horrible. Is that kind of true, or is that uh, not good for that price? Yeah. Well, again, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it pretty much Zion or Jaw or Bust, or is it... Like, can you make money on a case if you don't get one of those guys, in all honesty? Well, Siakam I like because, obviously, Raptors. But I know the Kobe White, the P.J. Washington, the Ewing, and the Barnes. Oh, really? Water down, yeah. Well, that was, at least for me, it was fun to open that up. I hope you guys had fun with that. Out of curiosity, would you rather, if we were to ever get another one in, would you guys rather 
do potentially a team select, a chancer, or another one of these numbered ones. A random, the problem is, wouldn't a random, well, random would be basically three times that, right? So you're almost like 250 bucks a spot. I guess if you do get the Pelicans or whatever. A chancer? Chancer? Okay. Sell it and buy more hockey. Uh, that's funny. Well, I said, again, I do apologize. Again, I don't know basketball too much. I know if I hit Zion. 366 total players in the set. Jesus. How many RPAs are there? 50? Player break? Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. That's just a lot of uh, a lot of spots to sell. But I have seen that as like on eBay is successful. All right. So 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 box of NT, but again, maybe if we bring in one. For a chance, there might be better investment for you guys or better potential. You guys like that idea? So I always appreciate feedback, guys, on this kind of stuff because, you know, as I said, I do my best to. Uh, global basketball, very, very little, far and few between. I think we have one box of the Fanatics. Prism and one box of regular Prism. And I think a hybrid basketball select, it looks like. It is super like hard to get basketball. Nice, Mark. How'd you do? So I'm gonna get some platinum going now. Fifty RPAs, eh? All right, give me one second, folks. All right, so what we'll do is we'll grab the uh, – we'll grab the two here and the two here. So we have these four folks, if they're not so good. That was fun. That was nerve-wracking. I really, really, really hope we uh, – Hit the hundred thousand dollar card. I would have been much happier with that. But uh, yeah. All right. So you guys ready? Eleven thousand six six six. So I'm guessing a lot of New Jersey Devils will come out of this. And here are the rest of the breaks for the night, folks. We have three left in SB Game Use, seven in the SBA, 15 in Ice, nine in Trilogy, only 18. May I remind you, folks, 16, 17 Platinum is it getting increasingly harder and harder to find. I highly recommend, guys, take advantage of it. It is down to only 18 left. Uh, 14, 15 premiere. I can tell you, I believe we have two cases left. So this will be one of our last ones. And I think we're like done out of that, like completely done. So enjoy those kind of, uh, breaks when we have them folks. Here we go. Starting off CNC break number 11,666. Platinum four box break. Oh, you got one of those skate cards? Those are rare. Those are super rare. I love those cards. 
We've got a rainbow for the wild Eric Stahl. We've got a best in the world for the Rangers of Lungfist and a marquee rookie of Wallstrom. Uh, how do we get all the products from our distributor? Only from our distributor. Marquee rookie of Sorella for the Hawks. Sunset of uh, Stamkos for the Tampa Lightning. We do sometimes get customers who have old cases or other stores who's got them. Marquee rookie of Verhaggy for the Tampa Lightning. Quinn Hughes for the Vancouver Canucks retro rookie. So, like, if a store calls us and just says, hey, I have this old case, I want to move it, if it's a good price, we buy it. Called our front runners for the Preds of Dante Fabro. Marky Ricky of Gusev for the Devils. Puerto Rico for the Blues Rainbow. Marky Ricky of Morgan Frost for the Flyers. Wallstrom Retro for the Islanders. But yeah, it's definitely not easy to get them. And once they're gone, they're pretty much gone, gone. Marky Ricky of Zadina for the Red Wings. Bastion Retro for the Devils. So like 14, 15 Premier. Look at these cards. Some of them, like the bow on those. Like it's so much, so annoying. It's it's like once it's gone and our distributor is gone, and that it's pretty much like very few people will have it then. Then it's hard it's hard to find it. Marky rookie of Faraby for the Flyers. Do Shane for the Preds. Like if we get another NT box, I'd have to buy from one of the guys in the US. Adam Fox for the Rangers, Marky Rookie. Sagan, number to 399 for the Dallas Stars. Violet Pixels. Retro Rainbow of Barkov for the Panthers. Marky Rookie of Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. And a Libor Hayek for the Rangers. Uh, retro Rookie. Marky Rookie for the Devils of Hughes. Mark Andre Fleury Rainbow for the Golden Knights. But our Belligan talking about. Uh, Bigger hits and NT. Pro Corkin for the LA Kings and a thrilling finish of Ovechkin. I was telling our, uh, our members earlier today, one of my guys in Toronto ordered a case of NT. Marky, rookie of Suzuki for the Habs and a orange checkers auto rookie for the Boston Bruins, number to 15, Carson Kuhlman. And he ended up getting the horizontal, I think it is, at a 75 rookie of Jaw. And we're selling it for him right now. And the funny thing is, like, again, I don't know. Obviously, we have enough for 20. I have no idea what it should go for. Sunset of Bobrovsky for the Panthers. But you got to think, I think he said he paid about 24 grand for that case. Fred, uh, Marky Rookie of Frederick for the Boston Bruins. And a Boak Fist to 399 for the Chicago Blackhawks. So even with a jaw, you pretty much, I think, lost or going to come close to it, right? Marky Rookie of Dobson for the Islanders. Rainbow Rookie of Kirby Doc for the Hawks. Lazat for the LA Kings. That, to me, is crazy. Pink of Timo Meyer for the Sharks. Marky Rookie of Grunstrom for the Kings. Boakfist for the Devils. No, no, he got the uh, 75 horizontal. You got the horizontal 75. So I don't know if that's much worse, but I asked him what he wanted to price that. He said 20. Uh, 20,000 US, just so you know, Rich. I think he was more realistic. I think he did say it's probably going to go for like 12 to 15. But Marky Ricket Hirose for the Red Wings. So by if you're in thought, Rainbow Rookie. For the uh, LA Kings. Retro for the Blue Jackets of Seth Jones. Oh, 20000 is a good price. Interesting. We got a pink mat of vodka for the Ottawa Senators. Marquee rookie of Lazat for the LA Kings. Luger, retro rookie for the Penguins. Marquee rookie of Bofist for the Hawks. And a pink rookie auto number to 99 of uh, Brandon Gignac. Rich, it's on our website, so I don't know, uh, or on our eBay if you want to check it out. 
So let me know if it's a good patch or not. The problem is, like, I don't know basketball market too well. Like, I don't know if – do the true horizontal rookies at a 75 sell better, better than the bronze at a 49? Because in hockey they would. Kuba Leak for the Chicago Blackhawks. A marquee rookie and Giordano Rainbow for the Calgary Flames. Marquee rookie of Bjorn Fought for the Kings. Best in the world of Stamkos for Tampa Lightning. Rainbow of Ryan Johansson for the Nashville Predators. I'm pulling the wrong devil tonight. Marquee rookie Sunset, Tampa Bay Lightning. Carter Verhage. Marquee rookie of Texier for the Jackets. Thrilling finishes of Matthew Kachuk for the Calgary Flames. Marquee rookie of Lafferty for the Penguins. Marquee rookie red prism, Cody Glass. 2.99. Cody Glass. Marquee rookie of Nicholas Hag for the Vegas Golden Knights. Rainbow rookie of uh, Timmins for the Avalanche. McEwen for the Vancouver Canucks retro. When you're obviously not watching a lot then. Pro Corcoran for the LA Kings. And a Bo Horvat Arctic Freeze 99 for the Vancouver Canucks. I literally in clear cut had two big cards of Washington <laughs> to start the day off. We got a marquee rookie of Frederick for the Boston Bruins. Gensel Retro for the Penguins. I think I got a Kuznetsov High Gloss and a Kuznetsov Auto. Best in the world of Crosby for the Penguins. Yeah, 1920, I think they only had Fairberry. Dobson for the Islanders. Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. Rainbow. That's, I think, also why they're not there, right? Marky Rookie of Grundstrom for the Kings. Retro Suzuki for the Habs. And a Truba to $3.99 for the Rangers. Marky Rookie of Ferraro for the Sharks. And a Wheeler Sunset Parallel for the Jets. Marky Rookie of Quinn Hughes. McKayev for the Maple Leafs. Marky Rookie of Jack Hughes. And a Rainbow of Skinner for the Sabres. Rich, did you end up seeing the uh, the card that we have up there? Thank you, Rusty. Oh, is there? What's it at? Rainbow of Konechny for the Flyers. We've got a marquee rookie of Nico Sturm for the Wild. Matthews, best in the world for the Leafs. Marquee rookie of Boakvist for the Devils. And a Marshawn for the Boston Bruins. Thrilling finishes of Crosby for the Penguins. My patch is nicer. Sweet. Marky rookie of Olofsson for the Sabres. Arvidsson for the Preds Rainbow. Marky rookie of Makar for the Avs. R retro rookie of Olofsson for the Sabres. And a checkers of Kotkaniemi for the Habs. So, Rich, again, I don't know how much knowledge you have on actual values. What, like, is 15000 a realistic? Like, if we get an offer for 13000 should we be taking it? That's not a rainbow, no. Sunset of Kyle Connor for the Jets. Marky rookie of Brandstrom for the Sens. Retro of Sherwood for the Jackets. Marky rookie of Benstrom for the Jackets. Paling for the Habs, rainbow. Marky Rookie of Les Bronx for the Stars. Rainbow Blue, 149 of Vasilevsky for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Marky Rookie of Barrett Hayden for the Coyotes. Rainbow of Aho for the Kings. Marky Rookie of Favreau for the Preds. Flurry for the Habs. Rainbow of Jonathan Tate, Chicago Blackhawks. 
Marky Rookie of Gusev for the Devils. Taylor Hall Pink for the Coyotes. Uh, we do several different things with them, actually. Well, actually, quite a few different things. Marky Rookie of Frost for the Flyers. Retro of McDavid. One we do, we donate to local hospitals. Two, we use them for packaging <laughs> to do the top of the top, top of the count cases. Kako Marky Rookie for the Rangers. Pink Rookie Auto. Alexander Texier to 99. And then mystery packs and just basically any filler stuff. And yeah. Marky Rookie of Gustafson for the Jets. Marky Rookie of Moore for the Maple Leafs. Calder front runners of Hiroshi for the Red Wings. We got a sunset of Ekblad for the Panthers. Marky Rookie of Carter Verhage for the Tempe Lightning. And a Marky Rookie of Max Jones, the 99 Arctic Freeze. Are they? Yeah. We got a rainbow. Yeah, rainbow of Pavelski for the Dallas Stars. Giroux for the Flyers Retro. So, Rich, what would you guess that 9-5 goes for then? What do you think that auction ends at? Marky Rookie of Max Jones for the Ducks. Rainbow Rookie of Makaya for the Leafs. Marky Rookie of Bluger for the Penguins. Best in the world for the Habs, Carey Price. Marky Rookie of Glass for the Knights. Marky Rookie Sunset of Frederick for the Boston Bruins. We've got a marquee rookie, Violet Pixel to three ninety nine, Quinn Hughes. Quinn Hughes, sick. Marky rookie of Ville Hinola. We for the Jets, Sod Rainbow for the Hawks, Granlin for the Preds. Retro Rainbow of Hag for the Vegas Golden Knights. Marky Rookie of Gautier for the Canes. Dumba for the Wild. Retro. Pink of Alex to bring it for the Hawks. Marky Rookie of Kirby Doc for the Hawks. Retro Rookie of Mackenzie McEachern for the Blues. We've got a Marky Rookie of Mikaia for the Leafs and a Dylan Secura Rookie Auto for the Hawks. I was going to say, we actually were lucky because we got quite a few color rookies in this one. I think three of the four were colored, weren't they? Sunset of Marshawn for the Boston Bruins. Marky Rookie of Fleury for the Hab. Carlson for the Sharks. Marky Rookie of Timmons for the Avalanche. And a Jordan Everly for the Islanders. We've got a Tarasenko Red Prism for the Blues. Marky Rookie of Martin Fairberry for the Caps. Voracek for the Philadelphia Flyers. Some basketball players are ridiculous. Yes, they are. Marky Rookie of Paling for the Habs. Thrilling finishes of Pavelski for the Stars. Marky Rookie of Clifton for the Boston Bruins. Goudreau for the Calgary Flames. The other one, Rich, I want to have a fun conversation with everyone. What do you guys think about blockchain? Marky Rookie of Abramov for the Sens. Panarin for the Rangers. Marky Rookie of Myers for the Flyers. And a Marky Rookie Rainbow of Fairberry for the Cats. And we've got a Dallas Stars, Ben Bishop, and a Violet of 399, William Carlson. There we go. 
blockchain as in the Panini blockchain cards. That was one thing I was researching on. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not personally a fan of that. But then again, that's just me. It doesn't mean wrong. Essentially, you're getting a digital card only. So you get a redemption in the packs for a completely digital card. But it's crazy though, Brown, because legit people are paying like thousands for the big boys. So I was trying to do some research, see like why are they paying thousands? But yeah. I don't I know it sounds mean to say because I don't want to like crap on anything that other people enjoy. I don't really understand the allure of having essentially a fake card that you can never touch or hold. And literally I could take a picture of that card and just pretend it's mine just as much as it is yours in your account. I don't really understand. He's like, I saw some guy off the, uh, he opened up uh, a Zion something, something blockchain card and they're freaking out. And then I saw like, Val like one of them sold for forty nine hundred dollars. And I'll say I'm like, A, how create like and I say this in a business point of view, how creative of Panini to essentially create a redemption of a card that doesn't exist and have value to that. Like it blows my mind that they could now get away with that as a case hit and it literally is nothing. Like it's just really weird to me. Like if any of you guys want to ever check it out, go on eBay and type in like Panini blockchain and look what some of those cards are going for. And then if you want to ever check it out just for fun, hold on, I'll show you guys right now. So, like, here is some of the cards, for example. And you, if you scroll down, like, right to the bottom, you'll see, like, those are 101 blockchain cards that you can buy on Panini for, like, 130 bucks, Or the Steph Curry um, auto jersey out of 10. Like, there's 10 of them. But, like, look at it. Like, I don't understand it. Uh, what was your question? Tops has the same thing, but I'm saying there's not really. I know there were some Tops cards that went for a lot of money, but like. There's legit cards on eBay going for thousands in, in Panini blockchain. Like I know, I know Top Skate. I'm well aware of those things. But at least like those cards, like they sell for, you know, nicer ones sell for like 40, 50 bucks. You're not talking thousand dollars. Again, anyone can go on eBay right now. Check out, type in Panini blockchain, type and see the highest first. I'll say like. Uh, from a business standpoint, kudos to them, man. That is uh, to be able to create something pretty much out of nothing. I, again, to each their own. For people who like it, congrats, man. I have nothing against it. It is to me, I could never understand how you could have value out of literally never having that in your hands. And I know that sounds weird because, like, that, and that's what I'm saying, Brown. I was literally about to say, I know it sounds exactly like Bitcoin, technically. Uh, we're open to 10, yes. But I don't know. I, I just feel like that's a weird... I don't know. It's a hard concept to really understand. Uh, if you pre-order Box of Stature, when it comes out, we ship it to you. 
to be honest, just not exactly that's essentially what it is. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we got three left in Spagoo, five left in uh, SBA. <laughs> Dean, I would definitely try, yes. And just so you guys know, I have someone who said they will match three spots in this one. It is only 25 bucks. It is platinum. It is Matthews and McDavid year. If we get three people grabbing one spot or th one person grabbing three, we will be down to 12-ish very quickly. So does anybody want to get the ball rolling on that one at least? That one can fill instantly. And then one of our guys uh, just messaged me that he's got about half an hour. Yeah, no, that's true. I said it's brilliant on their end to be able to do that because Yeah, it's it's weird to me. Is that I don't really understand the concept. But all right, it looks like one spot's getting taken in the platinum. I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle, but let's hopefully when I get back, folks. Let's see if we can get that platinum near filled. I'll be right back. All right.
So who wants to keep the ball rolling, folks? Trilogy is now down to seven. Ice is now down to 11. SBA is now down to four. We are very, very quickly. Getting all the brakes moving. Rich, as I said, I've said that for years. And I'm happy Billy finally admitted in the room. Well, not admitted it, but like explained to people. They never build ice on uh, Masters. They build them on Inners. It's amazing somebody got two of them, but it's not a surprise. They got an absolute technicality. You could get three Macars in, in a master case. Now, if you got more than three, then something's interesting. All right, give me one second, Dean. So, by the way, three left in SB game used, three left in SBA, 16 in the Platinum, seven in the Trilogy, 11 in Ice. And I'll make another deal for you guys, which I actually think is pretty easy. Oh. Somewhat easy, sorry, somewhat easy. I will give away either an ice or an SBA. The winner can choose. If we get to 10 breaks, I believe right now we're at four, but considering two of them are at three left, so that'd be five, six. Ice and trilogy are almost under 10. Well, one is under 10, so it'll be seven, eight. And all we need is two more. So there you go. If we get to 10, I will do that deal for you guys. Uh, Connor, probably, as I said, the way I work on breaks is I would happily do it if, if, if breaks are filled. When there's six, seven, eight breaks up, I want to get those ones done first. But I would say most definitely there will be one tomorrow. Which uh, which spot in SPA gets you the young gun card? This the, there should be a spot labeled young guns, I believe. Blue shirt is called correcting yourself.
Well, here's the other thing, though, Blue Shirts. If I switch my mind, I can also switch my mind and not do a giveaway. That could be easy, easily done. All right, so Dean, I'm going to do your box, sir. Where was it? Sorry, Dean, did you do a checkout? Oh, he did. Okay. Oh, he didn't do the open live one? He didn't open the pickup. Oh, he checked the open live here. Oh, okay. Did you mark it yet, paid or no? I didn't mark it, please. Okay. All right, Dean, let me know when you're ready, good sir. Let's see how I can do it for you. Here we go. Dean Crow's box of 1920 ice. Uh, yeah, I can put everything aside. Pick up, that's not a problem. I can do that for you, sir. We've got an orange of Seth Jones. And we've got a Rookie Relic Jumbos, Cody Glass. Rookie Relic Jumbos, Cody Glass. We've got a green of Jonathan Quick and a sub-0 to 9.99 of Bemstrom. We've got a Kucherov green, and I think you'll like this, a 199 exquisite rookie auto, Nick Suzuki. Nick Suzuki, 199. I think that's pretty good. We got a Dubois Emerald and a 9.99 Joaquin Nygaard. No, it doesn't matter if you're Canadian fan or not, right? McDavid Green and a 4.99 Dimitro Timoshov. There you go, sir. I just Suzuki sells very well. So that's what I was thinking. So I don't know if that beats Smash or not. You can tell me. All right. So SBA now. No worries, thank you. I appreciate it. So, by the way, all the breaks are moving nicely. Let's keep them going. I am giving away a box as a thank you to get all the breaks moving, even though Blue Shirts doesn't like it. Thanks, Blue Shirts. All right. Uh, sorry, two of the spots are highlighted. I got to see why. Is there a Michael in the room who took two spots? More 19. Are you in the room? Did you send EMT, sir? 
It just hasn't been received yet. I just want to make sure. Okay. Uh, are you able to take a screenshot of the confirmation just so I can start it beforehand? Yeah, I don't know how long I want to wait. Or not, sorry, I don't know how long I want to wait, but I don't know how long everyone wants to wait. And normally, as long as they have a screenshot showing confirmation, I'm cool with that. And obviously, you've been good with that, so. Uh, blue shirts, if we have one touches, <laughs> we're running low on everything. Uh, we did not open any finest baseball, no, sir. The SBA opening day breaks. Oh, yeah. They were shipped uh, They were shipped last week, for sure. Yeah, those are all shipped, I believe, if I have my dates correct, which I think it came out on the 3rd. Those are all shipped out on the 8th, 9th, or 10th. It's going to happen with Canada Post, as I said. We, we literally had a guy on eBay. It, it goes straight how funny some people are. We literally had a guy on eBay order a card, paid for tracking. We shipped it tracked. We put the tracking in, in the listing, like obviously in the uh, where we put on eBay. He then opened a, uh, like a dispute and says, you know, I'm from uh, Quebec. It should have been here in like three days, blah, blah, blah. I copy the, you know, the tracking and... He's like, well, I just don't know why it's taking so long. And it literally says in the tracking on the top, it says, due to COVID-19, packages are delayed. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, Golden. Is that this is not necessarily uh, reflective of all of them. But for whatever reason, no BS, I would, I would say about 90% of our issues on eBay come from Quebec. I really don't know if there's a pattern there. I know there's a lot, a lot of like customers from Quebec, so obviously you're dealing with a lot of clients, anyways. And by the way, I'm just waiting for the EMT to come in or the confirmation. So I do apologize, folks. I'm not just sitting here delaying. Like again, I know that's you know I'm not trying to say all Quebec is terrible or anything like that. I, there's a lot of great people in Quebec. That I love dealing with. But generally, the two that we have the biggest issues with are, well, not the biggest issues, but that we found have the biggest issues are uh, Quebec and international. But international's border and stuff like that. We definitely try to deliver in time. I feel like the problem is a lot of people, and I'm, I'm not saying this rudely, but they absolutely just don't understand that once a package leaves our store, I cannot control how fast it moves. It still blows my mind to this day that you have to explain to even adults that they somehow correlate if I ship out a tracked package on June 5th and I didn't get it until June 16th, even though if you pay tracking, somehow CNC is slow at tracking. I don't understand how people put those two together. I would never sit there. I would All I would ever do is I'd look at the package and go, okay, it was stamped June 5th. They did their job. What else can they do? Perfect. Thank you, uh, Michael. I appreciate that. That's all we needed. So this, I haven't got the EMT in. I'll let you know when it does come in. <laughs> that is right. We do own Canada Post as well. That's great. I forgot about that.
All right. And eBay, yeah. I own eBay as well, which is awesome. Everything and PayPal. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen. Time to start off 11647. Again, just so you know, that is break number five. Um, we just need five more. One has one left, another one has seven left. So this is not exactly uh, too much of a stretch. Matthew, to give you perspective, Bill Gates asks me for money. Like, it's just, that's just, just truth, right? So. It's kind of embarrassing sometimes when he comes up to me, but I've learned to just accept it. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 11,674. Four box SBA modified hit select. You know what we should do, in all honesty? We should see what we can create that get people to believe what we actually own. What's the biggest thing that we could make people believe that we actually own? And see what we could get sticking. It's going to be like a fun game internally with all CNC members. SP Essentials of Pasternak. We've got an all-star of Holpe. Authentic Moments, Cody Glass. <laughs> We've got a future watch, which is numbered 230 of 993. Yeah, 230 of 999. Stud Nika, so that's a zero spot. No, but you know how funny that would be if we legit got people to believe, like, CNC owns Panini. I would love to know what people would actually start believing. We've got a retro sign of the times of Philip Zadina. Very nice. Philip Zadina. We've got a future watch auto. Number 717 of 999, Veranu, so seven spot. 717. Young Guns, Tampa Bay Lightning of Mitchell Stevens. I think we just got to start small and work our way up. That's what we got to do. Authentic winners of McDavid. Linus Olmark. Update. Future Watch. Uh, sorry, Red of Clefbaum. And a retro Future Watch auto number 66 of 399. Morgan Frost. So six spot. Morgan Frost. 
Spectrum FX of Nathan McKinnon. Authentic moments of Alex Ovechkin. <laughs> SP Essentials of Miro Heiskinen. And we got a Chandler Stevenson update. Red of Alex to bring it. Do you know how much, like, we had a lot of happy, funny comments, but how much backlash people gave us for our, our one April Fool's thing we did a couple years ago, or last year. Anders Lee Red. I don't know how many of you guys remember that one. There's some really upset people about it. Authentic moment of paling. And an all-star of Roman Yossi. Does anyone remember that one? Let's see if you guys can uh, guess it. You do not remember the joke. So we came out with a proper like advertising um, that we basically bought Pro Set. And we were coming back with Pro Set as hockey cards. Like actually as a set, like CNC was going to build Pro Set. We've got an update of Giorgio. The amount of people that legitimately got mad at us on that. SP Essentials of Kotkin Yemi. We've got a Young Guns Acetate. Noah Dobson. Noah Dobson, Young Guns Acetate. Very nice. Very nice. We've got a sign of the times, 80s. Mike Liut. Mike Liut. Um, I don't think they ever will get as much love. Just because they're not necessarily the true rookie in people's eyes. Future Watch Auto, number 989. So, nine spot of Callie Rosen. Callie Rosen. Authentic moments of McDavid. Young Guns of Jake Wallman. Red of Patrick Kane and a update auto sign of the times, Jake DeBrusque. Update auto, Jake DeBrusque. Spectrum of Shifley. Authentic moment of Jordan Bennington. How much time is left in the McDavid? We've got an update of Coleman. SP Essentials of Kachuk. All-star update of Lungfist. Red base of Bobrovsky. Red of Verena. Authentic moments of Rask. It doesn't matter about lower numbered. It matters about uh, the true rookie. Pasternak update. Think about Cup. A Cup Matthews goes for five or six grand. Exquisite at 34 goes for about three. SP Essentials of Shabbat. Think about it that way.
Or, or if you want a better example, a 99 McDavid goes for about 25, 35,000. The exquisite 97 goes for uh, far less. Moment of Lundqvist. Hey, nothing to dumb question. What to find a true rookie? Generally, it's basically it's part of the set. It's part of the set that counts. Young gun, Adam Johnson. But there's no real what is a true per se rookie. Authentic winners of Mitch Marner. Correct. Spectrum level two future watch. Barrett Hayton. Because that's not part of the base set. That's just a uh, subset parallel rookie auto. Sign of the times of Kirk McLean. Sign of times, Kirk McLean. Sorry, what was the McDavid chancer? I apologize again. 869 Noah Dobson, future watch auto. Was that the platinum auto? If it's a platinum auto, that's a true rookie, yes. We've got a Martinez uh, update. But again, so to confuse you more, Dr. Fire, the other versions actually would sell more. Again, I know it's confusing. Red of Atkinson. And a future watch auto, number 339, Nikolai for Corcoran. Sorry, future watch, non auto. But generally, people consider the true rookie as the one that is in the set. So future watch autos are the true rookie. Spectrum FX of Larkin. So anything that is like not part of the set is a subset rookie. Moment of Carey Price. We've got a Goudreau All-Star. No, the Dobson, I think, was number nine. Yeah, 869. So the nine spot. SPS Centrals of McDavid. Connor Brown, update. Ah, thank you, Golden. I appreciate that. As I said, we try to do these things for <laughs> collectors. We got a Warinsky red. A red of Dumba. Moment of Tavares. David Ayers, Young Guns. And an SPS Central to Dre Settle. Yeah, baseball is a different animal. That is a lot more confusing than hockey. I'll give it that. But yeah, there's no uh, there's no really right or wrong on on rookies. Like even with my Matthews PC, I just for me I try to get the best rookie of that set. So like in Cup, you go for the 99 Cup rookie. In Black, you go for the lustrous rookie auto out of 99. In Premier, you go for the Acetate Ricky Patch Auto. Ultimate, go for the 99. We got a Falk update. SP Essentials of Mark Andre Fleury. Spectrum Level 2 Rookie Randstrom. We've got a base limited auto of Granlin. Base limited auto. Like, there's legit some Matthew cards that just don't buy me. They don't like them. <laughs> We've got a 995 Wallstrom for the Islanders. Or I just don't think the value is honestly worth it for what they sell for. It's not my cup of tea. Doesn't mean it's wrong or right, but. Authentic moment of Alex Petrangelo. Leon Dreisaitl red and a 939 rookie. So the nine spot of Kevin Stenland.
Spectrum of Dubois. Authentic moment of Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. We've got an update of Jari. SP Essentials of Matthews. I don't think so, Blue Shirts. All-star update of Crosby. Justin Nason, uh, Upper Deck does the same things. Joaquin Blischfeld. I know that for sure. A red of Hellebuck. A red of Tom Wilson. That's the essentials of Eichel. Jason Zucker. <laughs> and authentic winners of Lemaire. Have I ever shared? No, I don't like sharing stuff like that. I'm a very to myself type of person. Or, or only like my close, close, close people. And here's a couple reasons why. Number one. Unfortunately, doing online stuff for many years, you realize you encounter two type, three types of people, okay? You encounter the people that are appreciative of how hard you've worked over 10, 11 years. They understand it. They don't care. They're happy for you. Then you have the people who are just negative. They don't like it somehow because they hate success. And then you have the people who are just the crazies in the world that they want to find out where, they, where you live, what you have, and that's a target. So you always, always, always have to be paying attention to that. Like in all honesty, like this is the way you got to think about it, Justin. Is if I went out there right now and said, I have this baseball card that's worth a million dollars sitting in my, my room at my house. I am literally just asking to put a target on my back at that point. So I'm very uh, – and the thing is, in all honesty, I know most of, like, the guys that I talk to daily, like you guys, I'll share things to you guys privately because I trust you guys privately. But the thing is, that's the thing. Like, people get very upset with success for whatever freaking reason. Like, I remember – and I'll give you a good example, okay? I'll give you a good example. This is way back in the day. Way back in the day for me, I remember I was talking to somebody who was legitimately upset that our, uh, at the time, one of the distributors uh, manager or one of our distributors managers had a absolutely gorgeous looking car. And by the way, more, um, I still didn't get the payment in. I don't know if you want to double check. Because that is now going on a decent amount of time now, I think. Seems like it's a long one for that one. If you can double, just to make sure it's on its way, but that's weird. But I remember talking to a dealer and he was legit like, yo, why, why does he get you know, a nice car and blah, blah, blah. He makes money off of us. I'm like, uh-huh, that's his business. Like, almost trying to convince me that all the work he's put into what he does shouldn't be rewarded for him. And the problem is you have a lot of people in that life that that are, I don't know if jealous is the right word, but I'm trying to think of the right word for it, but don't like success. And it's just the weirdest, weirdest thing.
the Pepsi machine. We got rid of the Pepsi machine, Golden. That bad boy is gone, man. You got email? Okay. Hey, look at that. It just went through on our end, too. What a beautiful thing. That's weird. Weird that that also delayed. But, yeah, like, in all honesty, guys, like, when it comes to online stuff, you know, even with Ashley, I'm, like, you know, I know for her, obviously, being a girl, for example, you will get the guys asking, oh, where do you live, roughly, type thing. Like, you get those kind of questions. You always have to be careful what you say to what people. And there's people I'll talk to that I absolutely trust. And there's members that I've become very good friends with that I absolutely will trust and hang out with. And they have, I wouldn't say the privilege, because I think I sound kind of arrogant, but like, I will happily talk to them about things. But I, it's also, I understand that they'll keep their mouth shut and, you know, it is what it is. They don't spew that. And that's, you have to have that. Like, and I'll be honest, guys, there's, there's cards that I have big members message me on and they say, just don't let anyone know in the world but I want to show you because I'm proud of it. And I agree with that. Like they don't want people knowing that they have this massive McDavid or massive Matthews or massive Crosby card. And then I tell everybody, and I'm like, Oh, who's got it? What's the name? Just, if you want to keep it private, you want to keep it private. So, yeah. To be fair, blue shirt is not. It's not though. The N the NT one. The only confirmed sale that I heard about was seventy five thousand. And obviously this one's at 95. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's where we stand. We have one left. Oh, never mind. That's the game you just filled. Nine left and nice. And by the way, the platinum is now down to 15. I really want to get that one. A, I always love opening Matthew stuff. Not going to lie, kind of biased. So if anyone wants to get that one moving, that one's the easiest one in my opinion. A random at 25 bucks, I think is pretty good. Ice is at nine left. That I think is pretty accomplishable. But well, let's get them going. All right, let me just wait for the payments to come in.
So there you go, 11673 should be good to go. And again, we're getting close. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. As I said, hit 10, you guys get an extra thank you bonus. Yeah, you know what, Golden, and I know you are on the same path, and I think a lot of people are on the same path. Is general, there's very few times, at least in my life, there's very few times I've seen people who are wealthy, per se, that didn't legitimately earn it. And I don't mean legitimate earn it like, you know, drugs or something stupid. I'm saying they didn't work hard for it. Like, again, I could care less if my distributor literally owns 17 World, uh, Rolls Royces. I would be thrilled for him because I know how much effort he's put in over, you know, 30 years of creating an incredible business. Like that to me is, that's how I look at things. So just good advice for anyone who doesn't think that way. Be proud of those people. You have to understand that they've put in their work. You know, if another card shop, for example, like if some of those, if the guy who runs DA, for example, in the U.S., if I heard he's a millionaire, I would not be, like, upset with that. Good for him. He's created a business that has lasted for, I don't know, 20 years, 30 years. I don't even know how long. It's, it's not a bad thing to strive or be, you know, jealous of it, but strive to get there. Don't be upset with how he got there or she got there. So always be positive thinking. And I think this is the game. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's different though, Golden. Like if some like absolute jerk, for example, won the lottery and won like $40 million, that's different, right? Because then it bugs you because that guy shouldn't have that much money. But like if you won, be golden, if you create your own business. And it was massively successful and became like a multi multi millionaire. I would be absolutely thrilled for you. Yeah, it is. Don't don't poop on anyone else's parade. <laughs> exactly. If it's good success, that's it. And good people. Here we go. Starting off CNC break number eleven thousand six seventy three. So again, let's get the S, uh, sorry, the platinum going, the ice going, and the other brakes going. We've got for the Vegas Gold Knight 295, Jimmy Schultz. Yeah, exactly. Most guys are not. 110, Ryan O'Reilly, orange. In all honesty, the guys that I've met in my life who have treated me really well and had a lot of money, they never really flaunted it. Woo! That's cool. That's the first one I've gotten of this. We've got a tonight's lineup. One of one for the Buffalo Sabres. Did they even put the full guy's name on here? Of Berglund. I don't know why they didn't put the whole name. But that is freaking cool. Berglund. Uh, big hit that we have a video for it. Those are cool. That was the first one I've gotten to that. We've got a skill, uh, sorry, weekend jersey of McDavid for the Oilers. For the Winnipeg Jets, Mark Shifley. And for the Red Wings, Ryan Kuffner. I posted all the uh, serial numbers of people who had what well, serial number everyone has, but yeah, the video will show. I might be able to guess seven or eight of the numbers. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Minnesota Wild, 295, Nico Sturm. 
Eagles term. We've got for the Avalanche 275 Nazim Kadri. What team do you got, Cal? For the Blues, number to 50, Jordan Bennington. One off his jersey number. You Blitz, do you think you'd still work, though, if you won $40 million, in all honesty? Joey Decord, like you don't think you'd take time off or anything? We've got a showcase standout of Zadina. Zadina. We've got a locker essentials for the Devils, Nico Heischer. Nico Heischer. And we got for the Blues, Mackenzie McEachran. Hey, numbered 28. There we go, 28. Jersey numbered. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if no cup uh, gets awarded this year. Honestly, who knows? You would work part time at CNC? Um, I didn't say I would hire you, though. That's the problem. You might have to pay me for that job. And now I know that you're 40 million, you can afford it. 275, Ryan Johansson, Nashville Predators. Number to 49, authentic rookie, Max Jones. <laughs> uh, I was reading mid sentence and I like that one. He would be my greeter. Welcome, sir, to CNC. Welcome. Welcome, yep. We've got a Gensel base auto for the Penguins. For the Boston Bruins, Patrice Bergeron, banner year. All star skill duel of Atkinson Jones. And for the Devils, Nico Heischer, Jersey. <laughs> you should know, though, Blitz. I, I'm never a Lambo fan. We've got number 116, Rhett Gardner, Dallas Stars. So that just goes to show you, you're not even a close friend of mine then. 275, Matt Zuccarello, Minnesota Wild. For the Boston Bruins, base auto, Brad Marchand. Brad Marchand. We've got for the Maple Leafs showcase standouts, Mitch Marner. We've got a skills jersey of Carlson. Skills jersey of Carlson. And a Blake Wheeler locker essentials for the Winnipeg Jets. All right. Don't worry, Blitz. You're in my inner circle, my friend. You are in my inner circle. Ninety-two Toyota Corolla. We've got the Islanders, 275 Anders Lee. For the Flyers, 297, Carson Tor Torinsky. Uh, I had Dobson, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I think it'll be very stationary. That's not bad. Nate. Another jersey number. I'm killing it in this case. Number four of 50. Showcase standout dual jersey auto. Miro Heiskanen. in. 
Miro Heiskanen. That's cool. We got a showcase standouts of Dylan Larkin. For the Red Wings. Skills jersey of Jack Eichel for the Sabres. And a rookies of Abramov for the Ottawa Senators. We've got a number to 110, Sue Ban. Orange base parallel. Vancouver Canucks, Josh T to 295. We've got a draft day, Mark's Auto, Rasmus Asplund. Buffalo Sabres, Rasmus Asplund. For the Flyers. No, 26. I thought it was 28. That was going to be funny again. We've got a Tools of the Game patch. Claude Giroux. Claude Giroux. All-Star Weekend of Pavelski. Sharks. And we got an Elvis rookie jersey for the Blue Jackets. Four more boxes to go. We've got a 295 Carson Kuhlman. Boston Bruins. Montreal Canadiens to 117 Ryan Paling Orange. For the Carolina Hurricanes, Julian Gauthier. Uh, parallel rookie, but it is a rookie for his rookie year. We've got a frameworks, Philip Forsberg. But for example, Daryl, the true rookie in SB game uses a jersey numbered rookie. That's a true rookie. The rest are all parallel rookies. All star skills of Leon Dre Seidel for the Oilers. And a Caden Fulcher to 599 for the Red Wings. You have the LA Kings in this? Gotta get you something, eh? Ooh, we've got a set of these sharks at 275. Eric Carlson. Carolina Hurricanes 0116. Julian Gauthier. That is filthy. Numbered 9 of 15. Supreme Patches, Matthew Barzel. Nine of 15, Matthew Barzel. That's pretty sweet. For the Montreal Canadiens, Paling, rookie jersey. Pittsburgh Penguins Latang Skills Jersey and a Stillman to five ninety nine. New Jersey Devils Nathan Bastion two ninety seven. For the Capitals, a 109, Braden Holpe. For the Tampa Bay Lightning, Draft D Marks Auto, number 210, Andre Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky. Draft day number to 10. Banner year for the Winnipeg Jets. Jacob Truba. 
We've got a Relics Blends, the 125, John Carlson, Washington. And we got a Nashville Predators, Rem Pitlick to 599. We've got for the Capitals, the 275, John Carlson. Nashville Predators to 297, Rem Pitlick. For the Tampa Bay Lightning, number to 35, dual net cord, Stamkos Kucherov. Oh, Tampa came on strong the last two packs. Kucherov, Stamkos. We've got a rookie relic blends number to 125, Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes. We've got a Verena for the Capital Showcase. Standouts. And for the LA Kings, number to 599 rookie jersey, Matt Wobb. There we go. Decent case overall. Heiskin in the 101. The net core duel, the Vasilevsky out of 10. The tools of Giroux. Just wondering when Dan will reply to emails. I don't know. When he can, I guess. <laughs> Dan's shipping everything right now. He will definitely try to get to the, any emails soon. But shipping is always, especially on days like today, priorities. All right. And now my first lineup one. I was excited about that. I like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see where we are. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are down to seven left in Trilogy, eight left in Ice, 15 in the Platinum. I'm telling you guys right now, if we can get one or two more people grabbing some spots in the Platinum, that thing will fly. I want to open some Matthew stuff. And I'll make you a fun special tonight. I know it's not uh, it's not anything crazy, but if we don't get at least one Matthews or McDavid, I'll add a black pack uh, in that giveaway for Platinum. Just something fun. Just so we have something to strive for. Uh, Nux, you asked me that earlier, and I said I have no idea. I said, that's what Dan deals with, but I said, Dan is right now packing and shipping away everything, so. There we go. Down to 14 left. Who wants to jump on? Let's go. Keep it going. 14 to go. Let's get this under 10. It'll fly very quickly. Who is next? Looks like 13 left. There we go. I like that. Let's keep that pattern going. Yep, 
It was so close. 13 to go. Twelve to go. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Let's get into that single digits, and then it's almost a guarantee. Eleven. <laughs> one by one. I like it. One by one, we are getting spots taken, folks. So we are down to the final 11. Blitzy, have a good night, sir. You got to come into the store sometime soon, sir. It's been a while. I don't even know what you look like anymore. I had to try to burn that image out of my head, so. <laughs> Fat. Yeah, so I'm saying it's pretty much the same old, right? Hi, <laughs> kid. Don't worry. Sexy as everybody. You know it, right? Yeah, just you know what? I don't ever mean to be rude on anyone, but I found that tin kind of funny. I understand, like, why they did it, but, like, I don't know. To me, it's really weird. I, I would never, unless someone really requested me to do it, to sign the tin, I don't see why my name needs to be anywhere near. I, I can give you the video of showing you it got open, but like, I'm not going to lie. I don't think the guy who's going to spend a hundred thousand dollars us on this card is going to be like, and here's the tin that I got opened in. At least I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something that ever people see that I don't, It's at 113, eh? There you go. I'm hoping it goes to 150. I, that's, to be honest, I'd be happy if it hit that. It's good for our industry. Uh, I don't know if I believe that rumor. Again, it's very possible. But I find that a little hard to believe. I 
Again, give me a few seconds, folks. Um, yeah, on that card, I would say, yeah, that's an insane amount of money. And it, if it was ever legit, I absolutely would take it in two seconds. Why would you not? The one funny uh, conversation, actually, on, give me one second. I'm going to go talk to Dan about something. I think I actually have an issue posting. <laughs> All right. So what I was going to say is I was reading about some basketball cards. And I guess there's a guy who tracks them all. And I'm not going to lie, and I'm trying to say this in the nicest possible way. I'm legitimately amazed that people still put stock in PSA gradings. And the reason I say that is so there's a guy who literally tracks them all, okay? All the Zions, the Kawhi Leonard's, all these guys. And what I find is hilarious is, and obviously as Arv Elegant said earlier, that grading is massive, right, for – for the U.S. and just that market. Is there is literally cards that will be like, was slabbed a BGS, cracked, and then slabbed a PSA 10. 
And then there's also like on the forms, somebody was showing us, uh, uh, like somebody was showing that PSA or Beckett graded a card a nine five. It got trimmed, then it came back a ten from PSA after it got trimmed. And the guy was showing proof of how it got trimmed. I'm like, how is PSA still considered a massive kind of like greater when there's so much that I'm hearing about them getting like taken down on that? Did they really? Jesus. Justin, again, in my honest opinion, and take it for what it's worth. And I'm not saying I trust the backdoor stuff because Beckett has been proven that they have done that. Okay. But in terms of the least legitimate grades, I would say Beckett and MT are the best at grading. Now, again, we've had this conversation probably 20 times. PSA and Beckett are both or were under, like, FBI investigation for fraud, and I can't remember what the other one was. Yeah. And, and to be fair, though, Funky, I would say the same with Beckett. I think a Beckett 8.5 or a Beckett 9 is, is probably a PSA 10. It's, it's very... It blows my mind how much people still invest on a PSA 10 card. Uh, Justin, I will tell you, because we've been asked that from, uh, from other collectors, obviously bringing stuff. And I remember talking to, uh, I'm trying to remember his name, Nathan from KSA. The issue is with authentication, it is so ballsy because you could literally authenticate a thousand autographs correctly. If you get one big one wrong you will get blasted and your name is completely tarnished. That is why I think a lot of companies don't do it. And that's why a lot of companies are very scared to do it. Because it is like, imagine if you got a card by Gretzky and you authenticated it and then it came back that it actually is fake. How bad do you look? Because then the problem is you put doubt in everyone's mind. And for those that do not remember um, that one documentary or whatever it was on Sportsnet or something that came out on KSA and they got blasted on that. And I felt really bad for them. But that's, that's the problem is like it just takes one. It's really sad, but that's how it works, right? Hey, it's a ballsy industry to be in. That one is. Because again, you're basically hoping that the autograph, like, you don't know the backstory in like a lot of these autographs. You're you're hearing stories. Doesn't mean it's a true story. So you need to have some crazy expert knowledge. I will honestly say I understand uh, the grading stuff. And, you know, as I said, MNT has done phenomenal in the years that they have run as a business. I understand they might not uh, have the backing, for example, Beckett does, but I will tell you they do a lot of things very, very good for our industry. Um, and I do think, honestly, guys, Take it for my my opinion. I do think long term, I, I think they're going to be a massive player. If I think they're already there, but I think they're going to be a massive player in like four, five, six years in the grading. I think it'll be widely considered Beckett and P, uh, Beckett and MNT, in my opinion. Also. As white balance failed to allude to it because I own them. Okay.
Come on. Glenn, you let me down. All right, I'm going to do the randoms now, folks, for the platinum. Best of luck. 11669. Here we go, 11669. Three times. One, two, three. Copy, paste, one, two, three, copy, paste. Zim's got Carolina, Bulls got LA, Dirk's got Nashville, Broussard, St. Louis, Sean, Dallas, Buzz, Ottawa, Keith has Philly, DSN, Flo Rida, Perp, Arizona, Tin, Detroit, White's got Ed Money, Snow, Chicago, Slim's got Rangers, Sully's got Toronto. Tang's got Vancouver. CS has Minnesota. Jimmy's got Colorado. Michael's got Pittsburgh. Stripes has Calgary. Keith has Anaheim. D. Poulton, New Jersey. Slim, Boston. DSN, Washington. Tang, Montreal. McCrew's got Winnipeg. Bob's got, or Bobo's got, San Jose. Fernando, Tampa Bay. John has Islanders. Snow's got Buffalo. D. Poulton, Columbus. Yeah, I heard the same thing, Justin. One of my uh, one of my guys texted me on that. I think someone just asked him if they are planning to. They honestly should. It'd be a great Canadian outlet. They don't necessarily expire, Justin, but I was told that they would like them used within like two, three, four, five weeks type thing. I think they just did not want them to be like six months down the road you start using them. I think they wanted that to be a sale for SBA mainly. So... But yeah, I think uh, in all honesty, I think Com C should most definitely do it. John, first of all, it's an awesome pull. It will never, and I'm not going to say it's really, it, it will never be considered a true rookie. But there will always be a home and a buyer for those kind of cards, and it will not be little money. It will be good money. But in the history, in the short history we've had on those kind of cards, they maintain value, but they don't go skyrocketing value. All right, good luck, everyone. 11,000. What number is one? 669. Here she goes. Oh, what I 
Here we go, 11,669. We've got the dual year Matthews McDavid Platinum. We've got a retro of Subban for the Montreal Canadiens. And of course, best of luck to everybody. Upside down. Bobby Orr Retro for the Bruins. Matt Murray for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Retro OEL for the Coyotes. We got a Sidney Crosby Superstars for the Penguins. And a Fukali for the Montreal Canadiens. Marky Ricky. Rainbow of Keith for the Hawks. Rainbow Rookie of Larkin for the Red Wings. De La Rose for the Habs. Retro Rookie of Domi for the Coyotes. Andres Athanasiu for the Red Wings. We've got a purple base for the Tampa Bay Lightning, number 25, Victor Hedman. Purple base. Number to 25, Victor Hedman. Retro of Zetterberg, and there ends our chances, but there's a McDavid marquee rookie. Boop, 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 McDavid. We've got a gold rainbow retro to 149 of Marty Turco for the Stars. UC Soros for the Nashville Predators. We've got a Garrett Sparks for the Maple Leafs, Marky Rookie, and a gold, seismic gold number to 50 rookie of Robbie Fabry for the Blues. We've got a retro rookie of Cousins for the Flyers, Rontanen for the Avalanche, Marky Rookie. Rainbow of Parise for the Wild. Don Scoy for the San Jose Sharks. Marky Rookie. Rainbow of Bobby Ryan for the Ottawa Senators. McCarran for the uh, Montreal Canadiens. Marky Rookie. We've got a Patan Marky Rookie for the Winnipeg Jets. And a Rainbow Rookie Auto, Jared McCann for the Canucks. Rainbow Rookie Auto. Sick. We've got a Rainbow Retro Pavelski for the Sharks. Gustav Olafson for the Wild. A Trax of Daniel Sedin for the Canucks. Stevenson for the Caps. Marky Rookie Tracks of Fiala. Hey, it's Friday, isn't it? Suiting. We've got a Logos for the Preds of Pekka Rene. And a Matthias Yanmark for the Dallas Stars. We've got a Team Logos of Monahan for the Calgary Flames. And a Hannafin for the Carolina Hurricanes. Yeah, uh, Web02, that was one thing we um, we discussed three weeks ago, four weeks ago, <laughs> is with Series 1 of, that's a big one, right? So they're trying to figure out what they can and can't do. Is there exceptions? Yeah, that's, a, uh, that's a major, I would say, problem, but that's something that needs to be fixed. You can't really release Series 1 without Lafreniere. <laughs> We've got a marquee rookie rainbow of Krause for the Coyotes. Kapanen marquee rookie for the Maple Leafs. Marquee rookie of Buchnevich for the Rangers. And a Dvorak rookie auto for the Coyotes. Dvorak for the Coyotes. 
Rainbow of Taves for the Hawks. Sanford for the Caps. Tracks of Jenner for the Jackets. Jimmy VC for the Rangers. Marky Rookie. We've got a Marky Rookie Red Prism. Wurinski to 199. That's a good one, actually, the Jackets one. Rainbow of Duchesne for the Avalanche. Leaf Six for the Maple Leafs. Marky Rookie. Washington Capitals, Kuznetsov, Retro, Sergachev, Marky Rookie for the Habs. We've got a Tyler Mock for the Caps. And a Blue Cube, the 99 of Giroux. Claude. We've got a Logo Crest of Lungfist for the Rangers. Trevor Carrick for the Carolina Hurricanes, Marky Rookie. We've got a puck personas of Washington Capitals, Alex Ovechkin. Marky Rookie of Bjorkstrand for the Jackets. And a rainbow orange to 25 of Skinner for the Carolina Hurricanes. We've got a retro Jamie Benn for the Dallas Stars, Hudson Fashing for the Buffalo Sabres, Marky Rookie. Retro Rainbow Hudson Fashing for the Sabres, Kyle Connor for the Winnipeg Jets, Marky Rookie. Rainbow of Martin Jones for the Sharks, Lawson Krause for the Coyotes, Marky Rookie. Marky Rookie Tracks of Booch Nevich for the Rangers. Platinum Phenoms of Pavelski for the Sharks. Retro of Zetterberg for the Red Wings. Konechny for the Philadelphia Flyers. Rainbow of Hayes for the Bruins. Larson for the Anaheim Ducks. Retro Rookie of Matthew Kachuk for the Calgary Flames. Retro of Bennett for the Calgary Flames. And a Mitch Marner Rookie for the Maple Leafs. Mitchy Marns. All right. We've got a marquee rookie rainbow of Booch Nevich for the Rangers. Sanford for the Caps. Marquee rookie. Retro of Lungfist for the Rangers. Santini for the Devils. Marquee rookie. We've got a Kapanen marquee rookie for the Leafs. And a red prism. Rookie auto numbered one of 50, Oscar Sunkfist. Sunkfist, red rookie auto for the Penguins. Tracks marquee rookie for the Flyers of Konechny. Retro rainbow of Dylan Larkin. Rook, uh, yeah, no, sorry, regular retro rainbow, Dylan Larkin. Rainbow of Jokinen for the Panthers. Surgachev for the Montreal Canadiens. Rainbow. rainbow of Sagan for the Dallas Stars. Kyle Connor for the Jets. And a Braden Point for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Marquee rookie. Red Prism of Kyle Paul Mary to 199. Kyle Paul Mary. We got another red prism number to 199. Jonathan Taves for the Hawks. Tyler Mott, Marky Rookie. Rainbow of Reinhardt for the Sabres. Morrissey for the Winnipeg Jets, Marky Rookie. 
Retro Borinsky for the Blue Jackets. Hudson Fashing for the Buffalo Sabres. Tracks of Hopkins for the Oilers. Erickson Eck for the Minnesota Wild. Marky Rookie. Blue Cube of Henrik to 99 for the Devils. Oliver Bjorkstrand for the Blue Jackets. Marky Rookie. Puck Personas of Duchesne for the Avalanche. We've got a logo crest of Lundqvist for the Rangers. Carrick for the Carolina Hurricanes. Logo crest of Carey Price for the Habs. Lawson Krause for the Coyotes. Marky Rookie. Retro of Larkin for the Red Wings. Mitch Marner for the Maple Leafs. Retro rookie of Lindgren for the Habs. Sorensen for the Ducks. Rainbow Crosby for the Penguins. And Retro of Shifley for the Jets. Larson for the Ducks. Not bad, not bad. We got the McDavid. We got two Martyrs. Slew of other cool stuff. All righty, folks. We got a lot of updates here. Let me see where we're at. All right, so Trilogy is sold out. I will do that one now. Give me a few seconds, folks. All right, 663 is going to be ready to rock and roll. Good luck. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 11,663. We've got the five box trilogy. Yeah, no worries. No worries. We've got a rendition of Olafson for the Sabres, Sammy Shin for the Boston Bruins, 2999 rookie. Nico Sturm for the Minnesota Wild, $7.99 for the Blue Jackets Red Rookie of Texier. Renditions of Capo Caco for the Rangers. Renditions Blue, the $3.99 of Paling for the Habs. Renditions for the Panthers of Keeper. And a Wallstrom to $2.99 for the Islanders. Renditions of Frederick for the Boston Bruins and a rookie jersey to $4.99 of Myers for the Flyers. I'm guessing this will be something good because normally this box is pretty bad. Paling for the Habs renditions and a $1.99 rookie auto for the Ottawa Senators, Eric Brandstrom. Brandstrom for the Sens. All right. And Ice is up next. It looks like, are you guys okay if I just take like a five minute uh, food break after this one? Is that acceptable to you guys? Literally just five minutes. Rendition for the Islanders of Wallstrom. Rookie auto of Texier for the Blue Jackets.
We've got a base auto of Shifley for the Jets. Renditions of Stillman for the Panthers. Wallstrom for the Islanders. I guess you can allow. I'll try to be as quick as I can. Rendition of Kubalik for the Hawks. And a rookie rendition jersey, Fulcher for the Red Wings. Rendition of Sandine for the Leafs. And a rookie premieres auto of Baraby for the Flyers. Rendition of Jack Hughes for the Devils. And a renditions red of seven ninety nine of Senishin for the Bruins. We've got a ball surge for the Ottawa Senators renditions and a two ninety nine Makar rookie for the Avalanche. Bobby, from what I've seen, values have been phenomenal. Steady, you know, not much dropping. Pretty nice. Boxes have pretty much only skyrocketed. <laughs> I don't think they've lowered. All the high-end cards have gone exactly where I thought they would go. Renditions of Hiroshi for the Red Wings. And a blue rendition to 3 9 of Balsers. And a Jimmy Scholl to 4 9 for the Vegas Golden Knights. Bluger for the Penguins renditions. Gusev the 299 rookie renditions for the Devils. Mackenzie McEachern renditions for the Blues. 999 Hirose for the Red Wings. We've got a Fox renditions for the Rangers. And we've got a Texier to 499 rookie jersey. Uh, vintage pretty much always holds value. Oh. Renditions of Veranu for the Ottawa Senators. And a signature pucks, Shea Theodore. You talking about those rookie stuff, blue shirts? Shea Theodore. We've got a Carson Coolman for the Boston Bruins. Rookie renditions and a blue to three ninety nine of Mackenzie McEachern for the Blues. Oh, I have to look that up. I didn't think he dropped that badly. I have a few guys that I know at Collect Marner, and they didn't say anything about it dropping at all. We've got a Vitali Abramov rendition for the Ottawa Senators and a base patch auto number to 25 on Dursley. Islanders base patch auto on Dursley. We got a rendition of Bastion for the Devils. And a red rendition to $7.99 of Hiroshi for the Red Wings. Zadina renditions for the Red Wings. And a $4.99 Zach Senation for the Boston Bruins. Sorella for the Chicago Blackhawks renditions. $2.99 of Sandine for the Maple Leafs. We've got a rendition to Barrett Hayden for the Coyotes. And a Fabro for the Preds. Rookie. Rendition to Texier for the Jackets. And a rookie, our base jersey of Tara Vinen for the Carolina Hurricanes. Oh, that's, that's not exactly a massive dro uh, drop. A 100 to 80 is not a... That could just be a bad auction. <laughs> We've got a rendition for the uh, Red Wings of Fulcher and a 99 auto for the Vancouver Canucks, Quinn Hughes.
Quinn Hughes. Yeah, but Blue Shirts, you got to remember, it is summer. Cards always in the summer go cheaper. Breeze Bois renditions for the Canucks. Kuffner for the Red Wings. The seven ninety nine always go cheaper in the summer. Renditions of uh, Sherwood for the Jackets, and we got a renditions red for the Islanders of Wallstrom. The seven ninety nine. Suzuki renditions for the Habs. Jack Hughes to three ninety nine renditions for the Blues. Was over the Devils, but it is blue. McCarr renditions for the Avalanche. Adam Fox to nine ninety nine for the Rangers. Renditions of glass for the Vegas Golden Knights. Max Jones to four ninety nine for the Ducks. Rookie jersey. Yeah, it always it always is like that. Like honestly, I love buying Matthews rookie stuff in the summer because I get them way cheaper in the summer than I do in the season. The season's so dependent on like if they have a hat trick, it goes up crazy. Like it always balances out with this exactly. I can't remember just said it, but I mean, I'm not looking at the screen. But there's no hockey going on. There's no excitement. What is there people to cheer about right now? Exactly. That is the smartest thing you can do. All right, I'll be right back, folks. Hey, Dan. You got my fortune in your hair case?
All right. Sorry about that, folks. Appreciate that. All right. Let's see where we are. That's enough food, Jeff. <laughs> All right, so six seventy five. Appreciate you guys being patient there. So, best of luck to everybody. Six seventy five. Chiming in on what? It's definitely not 50 50. I can tell you that. It wouldn't even be near that. All right, so here we go. Here we go, starting off season break 11,675. We've got Ice, Ice Baby. Bing, 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 bing. All right. There's spots for my uh, ice. All right, we start off with a big, uh, sorry, Dre Seidel Orange for the Oilers. And a rookie relic jumbo jersey, Barrett Hayton. Uh, shouldn't be a problem, Matt. I'll double check it after. We've got a green of Ovechkin for the Caps. Sub zero to 9.99. For the Coyotes of Barrett Hayton. 
We've got a green of Eichel for the Sabres. And number to 199, exquisite rookie auto, Barrett Hayton. Barrett Hayton. Bring you some halves? All right. I will have this up for you. We've got a Mantha for the Red Wings green and a 999 of JC Bodin. I can pretty much guarantee you I will get you a half. <laughs> Buffalo Sabres Darlene and a 499 for the Carolina Hurricanes Julian Gauthier. I don't know if I've seen, like, not that I'm really paying attention. I don't know if I've really seen a case with no halves. So, halves and flyers, as I said, probably like the two most consistent teams in this. It's never painful. That person's super happy. You should be happy for them. Doesn't mean I can't do it for you in here. We've got a Tampa Bay Lightning orange of Kucherov. Sagan base jersey for the Dallas Stars. We've got a McKinnon green for the Avalanche. Sub-0 to 9.99 of Cody Glass for the Vegas Golden Knights. We've got a Blake Wheeler for the Jets. And a exquisite rookie auto to 199, Dante Fabro. For the Freds, Dante Fabro. Blue, sorry, green for the Blues of Alex Petrangelo. Twelve ninety nine for the Jets of Yana Uluato. Green of Kane for the Hawks. Four ninety nine of Wallman for the Blues. My gosh. I think there's another one too, isn't there? We've got a orange of Jonathan Quick for the LA Kings and a Carl Grundstrom for the LA Kings Ice Premier jersey. We've got a uh, castle for the Coyotes green and number 15 of 15, old jersey number technically, three color patch, Jack Eichel. Patch out of 15, Jack Eichel. For the Buffalo Sabres. We've got a Sebastian Ajo for the Carolina Hurricanes. A green and a Matt Waugh for the LA Kings. Rookie auto. Green of Besser for the Vancouver Canucks. $12.99 of Beck Malenstein for the Capitals. So, sorry, not sub zero. A green of Barkov. $249 Nicholas Haig for the Vegas Golden Knights. And a sub zero for the Maple Leafs. Of Rasmus Sandin. Well, that's why I said 15 was his original jersey number. Blue shirts. You know, blue shirts, you gotta pay attention, man. You're making so many mistakes tonight. We've got a orange of Patterson for the Canucks and a Ice Premier's jersey of Matt Waugh for the LA Kings. Forsberg for the Preds Green. Boo, nothing. Ooh, very nice. For the Montreal Canadiens, green of Carey Price. And an Ice Buckets, numbered to 199. For the Blue Jackets, Alexander Texier.
Alexander Texier to 199. We've got a Vegas Gold Knight, Mark Andre Fleury Green, and a 999 of Lean Bergman for the Sharks. Green of Heiskanen for the Stars. 499 rookie, Ice Premiers of Joey Decord for the Sens. And a Dylan Larkin Sub Zero for the Red Wings. All right. What's going on with Suzuki? Why is everyone talking about Suzuki and Panini? You're giving false info, or you're given false info? Yeah. Suzuki signs with Upper Deck. He is A OK. -okay. We've got for the Islanders, Orange of Matthew Barzel, Trent Frederick Ice Premier's jersey for the Boston Bruins. We've got a Dubois Green for the Jackets. And we've got a 399 exquisite Boston Bruins of Carson Kuhlman. Exquisite. We've got a McDavid Green for the Oilers. And we've got a Premier's autograph to 2.99, Anthony Sorelli, Tampa Bay Lightning. We've got an Avalanche Green of Rontanen, 12.99, rookie of Scott Stavron for the Ottawa Senators. We've got a Lungfist for the Rangers Green and a 2.49 rookie. Caden Primo. Caden Primo. All right. Wow, blue shirts. Is that another mistake? <laughs> Holy moly, man. I didn't think that was possible. We've got a Carter Hart orange for the Flyers. Ice premieres of Mario Ferraro for the Sharks. I'm just saying, if you're going to be tough, I got to be tough, right? We got a Flyers emerald of Carter Hart and a 399 Max Jones for the Anaheim Ducks. <laughs> exactly. We've got for the Tempe Lightning, Emerald of Stamkos. And we've got a 12 of 50, Glacial Graphs Gold, Matt Murray for the Penguins. Matt Murray. And you know what, Blue Church, I do count that as a mistake. Because you basically told the room that there's only four minutes left, which is a lie. LA Kings, Jonathan Quick. 9.99 Nick Camano. That was stars. Tampa Bay Lightning Kucherov Emerald. 4.99 Carson Kuhlman for the Bruins. Gusev for the Devils to 9.99. <laughs> Hold on, Blue Shirt. Is that a punishment though? Thank you, Golden. I'll give you that. Golden is like my uh, my lawyer who makes sure everything is correct. We've got a diamond base of McKinnon for the Avalanche. Ice Premier's jersey of Adam Fox for the Rangers. We've got a Vancouver Canucks Emerald of Pedersen. 149 for the Jets retro rookie of Villa Hinola. And a uh, last year's, last year's, yeah, 1819 Ice Premier's Auto of Sammy Niku for the Jets. I think I'm just going to mispronounce his name every time just to annoy you, blue shirts. Schleskerlin. Sh 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 
We've got a get slap for the Anaheim Ducks Emerald and a 399 Jesper Boakfist for the Devils. I have not had a uh, Shesterkin yet. We've got a green of Dre Saddle for the Oilers. 12.99 Kevin Stenlin for the Blue Jackets. We got a Barzol for the Islanders green. 2.49 for the Flyers. Philip Myers. You're cringing. Why are you cringing? Slusterkin is the right way you pronounce it, is it not? He's going to be the biggest bust anyway, so what's the matter? We've got an orange of stamp goes for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Ice Premier's jersey of Texier for the Jackets. Not looking good. Shifley Emerald for the Jets. $9.99 Vitaly Abramov. Sub zero. You got the Caden Primo out of 249. He ain't too bad. Kopitar for the LA Kings. $3.99. Play uh, Carl Grunstrom for the LA Kings. Ice Premier's Auto. Emerald of Huberto for the Panthers. $9.99 of Nathan Bastion for the Devils. We've got a Maple Leafs Mitch Marner and a $4.99 Islanders of Koi Buda. There we go. Can't get on to you. See, what Blue Shirts doesn't realize is now I can just deliberately mispronounce names to bug him. So you never give your tell of what bugs you. That is like life lesson 101 right there. But yeah, that Caden Primo, just so you know, is not too bad. I know it's not the greatest card in the world. But I can assure you that's not bad. Yeah. This is what bugs me. No, don't do that. Very, very bad. All right, going to do the randoms now, folks, for the premiere. So give me a second. All right. Best of luck, everyone. Here she goes. Here we go, 11,670. Everything three times. Whatever my mouse can get there. One, two, three. Copy. Wow, my mouse is seriously glitching out today. And we've got... One, two, three. Copy. Oh my gosh, mouse. Paste. FU2, you've got Dallas, Deep Holton Rangers, Bow Sox, Calgary, Fulchies, Toronto, Sea Dog, Arizona, Tin Man, Vancouver, Scott's got Minnesota, Tin Man Islanders, RJ Nashville, Poker, Tampa, Bow Sox, Carolina, Moore's got Ed Money, Range, uh, Range Spider Story's got Anaheim. Deep Holden, Colorado, Sea Dog, Florida, Tin Man, St. Louis, Go Fish in New Jersey, John B., Chicago, Zim's, Ottawa, Sean's got Columbus, Bo Sox, Montreal, Jesse's got Buffalo, Regito's got San Jose, Snow's got Philly, Rain Spider, Washington, Scott's got Winnipeg, Wings got LA, Bulls got Boston, Capo, Pittsburgh, and Broussard's got Detroit. All right.
Uh, casual, I got to double check that. I think you might have. Let me just double check that to make sure. I don't know what the heck happened to the back end of this site. That's kind of funky. I don't like that. And I got a bunch of boxes to do after this, and then I'll double check. When will the new breaks be going live? Um, probably after this, because judging by artifacts and showcase, I don't think. But I do got like four or five or six boxes to open up for people. So after this, what I'll do is I'll probably cut it off. I'll launch the breaks for tomorrow or the three breaks or four breaks that we have for tomorrow. And then uh, I'll do the random for this stuff after. So just so you guys know. And as stated, folks, last case of this. Sorry, that one's the last case right there. All right, so any trades, folks? The 14 15 premiere, we have literally one left. Sayed face. As I said, that stuff's going to go quickly. So, whether you guys like it or not, it's going to be gone. All right. So, good luck, everyone. Here we go. 11,000. What is it? 670, right? I think that's what it was. All right, sneeze first, then I do the break. Oh, excuse me. All right, here we go. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 11,670. We have the premiere. Five box break. Let's get some Leon love here. We've got a 249 Sydney Crosby for the Penguins. Or this guy. 299 four color rookie patch auto. Andre Vasilevsky. Tampa Bay Lightning. Andre. Vasilevsky. We've got a rookie auto of Natanen. Was that uh, Montreal? I have two teams in my head. I have Dallas and Montreal. So if anyone wants to remind me on that one. Carolina Hurricanes to 125, Victor Rask. Was Montreal? Okay. Boston Bruins at 125, Patrice Bergeron. Base jersey. Autograph to 299 of Andre Nestrasil. And we got a Coyotes, Mark Byzantine to 249. We've got a 249 Brett Hall for the Dallas Stars. For the Red Wings, a 299 Ryan Sproul. Rookie patch auto, Ryan Sproul for the Red Wings. For the Devils, rookie signatures, Damon Severson. Damon Severson. 
quad jersey to 49 for the Panthers. Huberto, Barkov, Bukestad, Luongo. Quad jersey. For the Red Wings to 125, Timu Polkinen. And that's filthy. We've got a super rookie patch auto to 99 for the Panthers. Aaron Ekblad. Super rookie patch auto. Aaron Ekblad for the Panthers. Beast. And we got a Blue Jackets, Marco Dano. 249 rookie. That was a pretty sexy card, that one. We've got for the Maple Leafs, Dougie Gilmore to 249. Right there. We've got a rookie patch auto silver to 25 for the Boston Bruins, Seth Griffith. Seth Griffith. We've got for the Boston Bruins. Rings of Honor, Cam Neely. Cam Neely. For the Maple Leafs, the 25, one office jersey number, JVR. Ice rookie. 22 of 25. Dallas Stars to 125, Brett Hall jersey. For the Minnesota Wild to 299, Christian Bolin. And we got for the Dallas Stars, Klingberg, 249. We've got for the Avalanche, a 249, Gabriel Landeskog. For the Panthers, a 299, Rocco Grimaldi. Rocco Grimaldi. Woohoo! That's been a while there. Somebody had asked me about this team earlier. We've got a one of one rookie auto. For the Washington Capitals, Liam O'Brien. Have a good night, Daryl. Sorry about that. Liam O'Brien, one of one. We've got a quad patch. Numbered 8 of 10, Hodgson, Gergensen, Molson, and Roth. Buffalo Sabres, 8 of 10. We got Calgary Flames at 125, Josh Judas. Buffalo Sabres, Nicholas Delorier at 299, Marcus Granlin at 249, Calgary Flames. Calgary Flames, 249, Sean Monahan. For the Devil, 299, Damon Severson. Damon Severson. For the Maple Leafs, 
Tribute rookie patch auto to 99, Stuart Percy. Stuart Percy to 99. But it's filthy. Number one of three. Mega patch shoulder logos. Ryan Strom. One of three for the Islanders, Ryan Strom. That's beautiful. For the Oilers, the 125, Leon Dreisaitl. Jersey. For the Oilers, rookie auto. Leon Dreisaitl. Leon Dreisaitl. And we've got Tampa Bay Lightning, Jonathan Druan. There we go. Wow. Solid break. Excellent. Mega uh, Super Rookie. We've got the 101. That was a good break. All right. So give me one second, folks. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so we got Derek here. So Tang Lung. Good luck into your box. One second. Good luck. Here we go. Here we go. Tang Lung's box of allure. Best of luck, sir. We've got a short print pink diamond rookie of Sandine for the Leafs. Orange slice of Pavelski, number to 199. Max Jones rookie, Sandine rookie. We've got a top 50 of Balsers. Ryan O'Reilly white die cut. Senny Shin rookie. Base. We've got a Queen Hughes short print rookie, a rookie of Nico Sturm, and a red die cut auto, Anders Lee. Red die cut autograph, Anders Lee. Rookie of Texier for the Blue Jack, or the team. Top 50 of Gusev, Myers red die cut, uh, Olafsson rookie. We've got a Brandstrom short print rookie, Matt Duchesne white die cut, and a rookie of Gusev. Rookie of Barrett Hayton. Top 50 of Brandstrom. We've got a steal. Number to 50, Ryan O'Reilly. Steal. Ryan O'Reilly parallel. 
Yard of Elegance Special. Rookie of Brandstrom. We got a Winter Storm Warning of Parise. Abramov White Rookie Die Cut. Top 50 of Horosi. Top 50 Rookie Jersey of Elvis. Paling Rookie. Dobson rookie. There you go, sir. I will give this to Daniel. I'll be right back. All right. So that was good. Yes. All right. Now we got. Oh, who is this one? Again? Amrick. Awesome stuff. I love it. So give me a second, folks. All right, good luck. Here we go, Amrick 99's two box break. One of the 1899 artifacts, one of the 1819 SBA. Best of luck. Ooh, we've got a 299 Ricard Raquel. We've got a uh, Ruby 299 of Jonathan Huberdo. Ooh, nice. We got a 299 of Braden Shen. These are rare. A Lord Stanley Legacy Signatures, Jeff Carter. Lord Stanley's Legacy Signature, Jeff Carter. 99, Jonathan Huberto. Emerald. We've got a Calgary Flames rookie redemption. Quad jersey of Ovechkin, Kuznetsov, Holpe, and Backstrom to 99. Quad jersey. Nice box. A number four, of course I missed his number by one. Four of 25, Jersey Patch, Aaron Ekblad. Four of 25, Aaron Ekblad. And a dual jersey to 165, Ryan Suter. I always miss by one. So frustrating. SPA. We've got a red of James Neal. 
All-Star update of Besser. And a Young Guns exclusives, Michael McLeod. Young Guns exclusives, Michael McLeod. We've got a Future Watch Auto, Christian Vasilainen. Nine ninety-nine, Christian Vasilainen. We've got a red of Patrick Kane. Update of Nick Bugstad. Marcel Dion Red. Nino Niederreiter update. Moments of Eichel. We've got a spectrum of Matthew Barzel. Spectrum effects. Morgan Riley moments. Jace Howerlick Young Guns. Retro rookie of Brady Kachuk. We've got a sign of the times. Tanner Pearson. Ooh, nice. Future watch inscribed auto. Michael Dow Cole. Future Watch inscribed Michael Dow Cole. We've got a milestone of Sidney Crosby. Milestones of Guy Lafleur. Moments of Eric Stahl. And Matthew Kachuk milestones. There you go, sir. That was a good box. Those are two really good boxes. Two very good boxes. So I believe that one is now done. All right, so Matthew, you got one ice and two SBA, is that correct? I'm gray. All right, and you said you're we're holding it for you, right? Or are we shipping it?
holding. Okay, can you just send us an email, then, Matthew, just so we have it like confirmed? I'm gonna go grab the boxes. But if you can just send us an email for confirmation. That would be much appreciated. All right, so are you ready, good sir? All right, wish you the best. <clears throat> Here we go, M Gray 37, three box break, two SBAs and one ice. We've got a moment of carry price. No worries. Linus Olmark. Said, I feel something in that box. Second box of SPA, I feel like they're big boy. SP Essentials of Sydney Crosby. All Star Update, Sydney Crosby. A red of McDavid. Oh, we're hitting some good names for you. Spectrum of Jack Eichel. Young Guns, Adam Johnson. Authentic Winners, Bobby Orr. Spectrum Level 1, Connor. Timmons and that's pretty sweet we've got a future watch auto patch number to 100 Cole Sherwood future watch auto patch Cole Sherwood B E A beautiful Future Watch Auto of Nicholas Hag. Yeah, I, I was thinking of literally the same thing, Golden, when I opened that. Columbus seems to be my team lately. Moment of McDavid. Moment of Kucherov. All-star update of Matthew Barzel. SP Essentials, Carey Price. Young Guns, Yakov Trenin. Red of Philip Grubauer. And a spectrum of Pedersen. Petey. All right. Well, it might be a little hard to beat the future watch pack shot, but hey, I'm going to go for it. We've got a Martinez update. SP Essentials of David Pasternak. Future Icons. Number to 199 of Barkov and Ekblad. Icons Future. Barkov, Ekblad. Sign of the Times, Dylan Strom. Sign of the Times, Dylan Strom. 
We've got a Future Watch Auto 999 Martin Fairberry. Fairberry. Authentic moments of Nikita Kucherov. All-star update of Dubnik. We've got a Mark Stone red and a sign of the times. Timo Meyer. Spectrum Connor McDavid. Authentic moments of Crosby. We've got an update of Connor Brown. SPS Centros of Miro Heiskinen. Red of Willie, uh, sorry, Eric Carlson. Red of Matthew Barzel. Authentic moments, Jack Hughes. Update of Falk. SP Essentials of Kotkaniemi. Any young guns of Adam Werner. All right, ice. Ice, baby. We've got an orange of Darlene. Ice Premier's jersey of Fairberry. We've got a green of Mantha and an exquisite of Wallstrom. Exquisite. We've got a Darlene, and that is definitely a nice way to finish. A 199 Ice Premier's Rookie Auto, Nick Suzuki. Nick Suzuki Ice Premier's Autograph. We've got a Bennington Emerald and a 12.99 Breeze Bois. And finish off Blue Jackets Emerald of Jones, 499. Trent Frederick is number one, by the way, and a Bluger to 999. Bam. I think that was pretty sweet. Oh, oh what do you think, M. Gray? Are you okay with that one? Hello? Is anybody here? <laughs> there we go. Maybe a bit delayed. Who knows? I going to say... All right, does anyone else need anything for the night? I can, yeah, M grade, just do the checkout, put in the notes. Um, put in the notes, the card. Oh, yeah, one more in file. Okay, never mind. And I can take care of that for you. Just give me one second. You want the Suzuki done, right?
No worries. You need a hit. I'm trying. Actually, give me a second. I'm going to launch tomorrow's breaks for you guys. I am trying for you guys. Trust me. Perfect. I will pull that for you, sir. Give me a minute, folks. Perfect. Great to hear. All right, so I pulled up some of the breaks for tomorrow. I got one or two more to get done. Um, so does anyone else need any boxes for tonight? Or are you guys done, done? Just let me know. I think everyone is pretty much done, done, so... Suzuki was phenomenal. Yeah, I love those kind of cards. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 2.15 p.m. Eastern time. Have yourselves a great day, and we will see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Have a good one, everyone.